Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with some K2SE. And as you can see, I finished, well, I'm pretty sure I finished uh, filling out all the name requests. I did check it twice. Okay, so where are we up to? We've got this piddly little starter base, um, where we have to do a lot of stuff by hand. Uh, we've got some turrets. We've done a bit of a lap around here, clearing out some biters. There's like three bases down here, I think. And automation... Uh... Where's our labs? These are our labs. Okay, so we need wood right now. Uh, I think we actually just got the means to grow wood. Yeah, here we go. We've got 60 right here, actually. Um, and I haven't got... Oh, here we go. I think this is our first electric inserter. And now we have the means to accumulate quite a lot of wood. Alright, so wood goes in here. Chest capsule? Uh, I guess that can stay. Um, in fact, let's turn this into a proper inserter. And then I'll shove wood in that box next time. How long does it take? It is quite slow making wood. We do get 20 at a time. Let's see, 10 per minute or 1.1667 per second. Uh, how much wood do we need per minute here? 7.5. All right, we can actually keep this thing going uh, very, very slowly. And what's next? Uh, we need a whole bunch more stone. Let's do something about that. We've got some stone bricks over here. What was the shortcut key? Shift C. Let's drop everything in here. Choo choo. Nightfire. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I'm gonna need some chests. Uh, shift C. Do I have any iron on me or something? I could use wood for this. It's only two wood for a chest. I don't feel like wasting any metal. Especially if it turns out iron... Actually, let's look at FNEI. Usage. That's a wooden chest. Oh, I didn't know you could do it this way. That's actually really handy. Default search is iron chest goes into cargo pod. And nothing? Uh, nothing with a stack size of 999. Seems good. Oh, oh, I see. This is a recipe for disposing of stuff that we don't want anymore. Um, so that goes in the crusher and it just gets deleted. Fair enough. You can destroy any item. Okay. Um, let's see. Give me that wood. And we'll get our stone coming in. Uh, whoops. Alright. Um, and then... Oh, that's actually a lot of stone. Fantastic. Where did we need it? Uh, we definitely need to make some sand, to make some glass. Um, can I have some of this wood back real quick? And stone goes here. Fantastic. 
Let's go grab some more coal. I've got a whole bunch up here, actually. Automation taking its sweet time. Is your goal the black hole? Uh, I don't know. Dark sky full of stars. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I don't know what the ending conditions are. Do a pair of circles there. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And... Uh, what was I doing the coal for? Just to refill things, I guess. Uh, that was a bit aggressive. Can I... Can I configure this so that it doesn't completely fill everything? Shift C. Fuel limit from above. Fuel limit. 0 0.5 stacks. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go grab some more coal from over here. Raise the cake. Whiskers. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Name and base coming right up. i grab this coal first. And let's see, W-H-I-S-K-E-R-S, -S. we've actually got exactly eight uh, characters here. Fantastic. That's so much easier than dealing with the lights. Um, I should probably carry a few more stacks of these. And... Do we need any more crappy old miners? I mean, we don't have electrical ones yet, so kind of. Uh, hopefully we don't attract the biters with all of this. Automation gives us regular assembly machines. We've already got uh, steam power, actually. Let's get started on a proper power plant. Uh, I think up here would probably be a good spot. A little bit out of the way, plenty of room to expand it. What's the ratio? Consumes only 10 per second. And this produces 20, so 1 to 2. Easy. Uh, we'll make some wind turbines as well. And I need some power poles. Uh, I haven't got the means to make lamps yet, so I can't make the lighted power poles. Um, lamps are apparently a bit too high-tech. You can also use the sand to boost your wood production, but that's later tech. Interesting. Okay, um, should be pretty straightforward. I don't imagine this is going to change much or at all from Crestorio 2. Uh, we're just going to go 1 and 2. How much water does this need? 20 per second? That's hardly anything. How much power do we get out of this? 1.5 megawatts? That seems like a lot. Does it consume coal particularly quickly? Uh, it doesn't say. Okay. Can, can I get rid of that? Fuel. Does it say how, much, how quickly it consumes fuel? Oh, 1.5 megawatts of fuel. Okay. So, per second. If these are operating at full speed, we've got um, let, let me just coal has 
6 megajoules times 50 for a stack. Uh, so 4 seconds for 1 unit of coal to be consumed here. That's about what we're used to. Uh, what do we want? Welcome to the jungle. Uh, electronics, multi-cylinder engine. Uh, we've got a few steps to go before we make a car. Steel processing is probably a good idea. Um, projectile damage will save us some ammo. It costs a hundred of each. Tool belt, inventory size, it's a little expensive at this stage. Electric mining, that's what I want. And then, on death you will respawn in your shelter. Each force can only have one per surface. So it just lets us make this thing that we've already got. Oh, we can make circuits out of wood still. That seems good. I dare say we'll be producing a lot of wood this run. And it saves your life? What, does it keep all of your stuff? Or something? Alright, let's quit messing around. Um, why don't we have... There we go. Steel. Armor. And... Tool belt. Uh, electronics. Not too worried about that yet. What do we need for the car? I want all of it. What be this? Fluid chemistry. Chemical plant. Water electrolysis. Uh, we get chlorine and hydrogen from sand and water. This is all new. Interesting. Uh, you know what? I want those lights already. Where are they? Oh, there it is. Right behind my mouse cursor. It's a, it only costs 10. Let's do it first. And quality of life go burr. Uh, this one costs 100, actually. And then the steel and the armor. Where's the armor? Alright, that'll do for now. Um, we can get two of these together, right? And... Let's see, if... If this consumes 20 each... Oh yeah, what's that offshore pump give us? 1250 per second. Uh, okay, so... Uh, we could do a line of 62 of these. I think we'll be fine. Uh, let's do a quick blueprint, snap to grid, relative. And we can see exactly where this will go. And copy, paste, flip. Uh, we could do it two tiles apart if we re were really pressed for space. We can do a little zigzag with the belt, but there's really no need. Um, and I think we'll start up this end. Offshore pump. Pretty sure we can fit even more than this. There we go. Oh, can we get the lighted power poles now? We can, but... They're actually kind of sort of expensive at this stage. Uh, where is our offshore pump? It is being crafted. In that case... That doesn't look right. I'm still missing the map view. We 
the damage upgrade. Oh, I see. Uh, alright, so... Offshore pump, I guess, is gonna go here. Can we move this? Let's make it nice and neat. And... One, two, three, four... Then we're going to have a belt. This thing needs power, I presume. Yes. Uh, let's get one of those wind turbines that I just made. And some underground pipe. We don't have any metal. That happens sooner than expected. Should have grabbed some fish while I was there. Okay, let's grab some coal. Uh, I don't remember why I put that gun away, but let's not. Oh, it was probably because I was putting the ammo in turrets and it was jumping straight back into my SMG ammo thingy. Are you okay? You need wood. We've got wood. 71 to be precise. Oh, I actually had a chest here for the wood already. Okay. Give to me more copper, I suppose. Give to me more iron, I suppose. And... Why hasn't it... Oh, these, this is empty, actually. Pick a dollies to the rescue. Uh, you can stay there, actually. But yeah, there's no iron here. Same goes for this one. Fantastic. We've still got a couple of stacks. I think I've got some more in here. And down here as well, please. Take all of this stone. That's probably enough of everything except for iron for now. Alright. Research continues. We've got copper. We've got not a whole lot of copper here. We've got... Uh, didn't I put it... Oh, I put it straight in here, didn't I? There we go. Let's upgrade these inserters. We've got plenty of... We do not have plenty of power. Never mind. Wait, is this not connected? 240 kilowatts. 240 kilowatts. Yeah, it is. Okay. What's, what's using all our power? The greenhouse, it looks like. Mostly. Um, can I put some kind of limiter? Well, let's put down these wind turbines, that'll help. And that's already a lot better. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So, if I remember correctly, these just constantly give us 20 kilowatts. There's no uh, waxing and waning of the wind strength. Your shelter provides power? Uh, does it? Uh, let's put it 
in the power network. Don't have any medium poles. Oh, I can't make medium poles. Uh, okay. Where did I get them? Damaged ship assembler. This isn't connected yet. So, production. Wind turbine. Damaged ship reactor. Doesn't look like it does. We got glass. Quite a bit of glass. And I think we're ready to go back and build this out a bit more. Fantastic. Uh, we need more belts, definitely. We need electric drills. We're still waiting on 50... 50 data cards and then 100 data cards. So like 126 or so, it looks like. Um, why don't we double our basic data card production? This consumes them, actually. Uh, I guess I need a assembler. And I'll put it right about here. Let's get the wood in this chest. And it's going to be a little awkward since this is all direct insertion. Uh, I'll just deal with it. Um, we can at, at the very least put this straight in here. Probably going to bottleneck on just producing the data card still. And what if... Not like that. What if we put one of these here? Fantastic. What's the crafting speed? 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So they are the same. So we just tripled our science. Can this keep up? Uh, yeah, n negative data cards. That's actually perfect. Oh, wait, I think I missed it. No, we are very slightly positive. Uh, basic data card, basic tech cards. It's fine. Speaking of fine, let's put some coal in these. And grab some more belt. I'd like to have the belt laid out before, before we get the electric drills. Inventory space. Do I have... I need sentinels at the very least. To look everywhere with the radar. So this is how much? Uh, 82. We've already got that. 
Yeah, it looks like we'll have more than enough in a moment. That's facing the wrong way. Um, I don't have any undergrounds. Electric drills. It's gonna be a minute. Fantastic. We need some more pipes. Or any pipes for starters. Hey Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then all of the power please. And then we need to connect it down here. With way too many small power poles. I don't suppose it lets us turn the... Uh, how do I pick something? Whoops. FNEI. Usage. Small wood electric pole usage. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't let us upgrade those. Is this max distance? Oh, that's very convenient. Let's just stick with that then. UPS will be better because you're going to use the warehouses and stuff this run. Yes. Yeah, we'll be making a few deliberate decisions. Uh, in fact, I was thinking of using smaller rail box as well. Um, I've actually designed one for trains with two resource wagons. Um, and they actually fit very, very well with a couple of wide area beacons inside them. So we might go for that. It also make resource um, consumption, uh, production and consumption effectively a bit less spiky. All right, let's drag our power poles up here. Since we're still waiting on electric engines, actually, let's get all wood. That's the reason we're waiting on electric engines. We need like seventy. Data cards. What do we have here? A hundred wood. Uh, one wood makes one tech card. Fantastic. And no doubt we will be needing some reds at some point as well. Okay. Let's run our power up this way. Nice. And we're not actually going to be consuming any coal uh, as long as as long as the wind turbines and such can do the job. Oh, I don't even have enough burner ins uh, enough to make the last couple of burner inserters here. Looks like we are consuming coal. But I could have sworn we had enough power without doing that. Nope, never mind. Uh, inserters go here. And that's pretty much it. Never enough iron. Let's go get some more. And I think we'll rush cars right after this.
uh, because I'm already tired of walking. We need oil and stuff first. No, we need to learn new things before we get a car. Oh, the humanity. I wish I could just, like, double-click this and it'll line up all the prerequisites. Alright, steel is... oh, we're doing steel already. No more wood-powered cars? Blasphemy. Utter nonsense. Not enough research slots anyway? Yeah. Alright, so we're just kind of waiting on this. Um, we do have a little bit of a surplus of data cards here, so let's distribute some of those. Staying ahead of it. What, what, what does glass go into that we're already making? Glass, usage, greenhouse, lamp, chemical plant, uh, electronic components. Those are alternate recipes we don't have yet. Can I just limit this to what we've already got? Apparently not. That's a lot of recipes. I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, nothing? Greenhouse? Delivery can lamp? Alright, apparently we're only using it for lamps, but I didn't make any yet. So where did that glass I was carrying go? Can someone spot me nine... 9,960 channel points? Uh, name in base? Sure, coming right up. We need some... Sigma A B And a space. And right about here. Oh, um, yeah, the space doesn't actually cost anything. Research complete. Fantastic. Let's get some electric mining drills. Rub Jar. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alex Hudson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Sun Accepton Research Q. Wait, what? Improve Research Q. I see. Uh Gil Giltian? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. And I think our first drill is going to go here. Uh, I forgot how small the area is from these things. Can we get big electric drills already? Uh, big mining drill. We need... Oh no, we need space science. Oh no. Oh, the humanity. Okay. Uh, let's see. That tile starts... There. And down this way. And here. And I forgot. I could leave gaps between the columns, or I could do underground belts. We're crafting too much. There we go. Why don't we do a little blueprint here? Um, our little power poles only cover... When do we get medium power poles? We need green science. 
Alright. Oh, we can make the lighted poles. Let's do it. Um, so I guess we're going to have to have these undergrounds every single time. Uh, like this. Oh yeah, no, I think that's the frequency we're used to, actually. So... Blueprint... Oh wait, is that the lighted power pole? Yes it is. Uh, blueprint... Electric drill... Small lighted pole... I'll just assume we're using lighted poles. Yellow belt... Snap to grid relative, and uh, yellow electric. Let's put it in. We'll just start down here with the K two stuff. Or maybe I should take this blueprint out of the way and make a new one. Blueprint book, rather. Blueprint book. K2 plus SE mines. Number one. And let's just check this looks right. that a little bit, I guess. K2 SE mines. Fantastic. That looks about right to me. And power. And I'm having trouble clicking on... Oh, it's not there yet. What? And this one's not there yet. There's a problem. Alright. You notice there's a little... There's like an entity within an entity. Uh, with these lighted power poles. No? I saw it with the substations, but... It's not like there's something weird to accidentally click on here. Okay. They look exactly the same, it looks like. Small iron electric pole. Lighted small iron electric pole. Yeah, they look the same. Maholic, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream today? Welcome, raiders. If you attach a belt at the top and bottom of the blueprint, you won't need to fix later for bots and stuff. Yeah. Definitely. Alright, so that's going to be way more coal than we need for the moment. Um, how many more drills do we have? Zero? Oh. 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 Rude. Maybe I shouldn't pick this up because I'm going to get uranium. It's going to be radioactive. Bunker S indeed. Good thanks. How's Snow World going in K2SE? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, quite smoothly. Still getting started. Uh, was that all of them? I feel like I missed one. Oh! Acid fighters. Um, where do they come from? I don't know why we're being attacked at the moment. 
just have a box in your hotbar, uranium problem solved. Wait, what? A box in your hotbar. Do, I, do they stop giving off radiation if I just shove them in a box? Will he notice? Will I notice what? We got some raw rare metals. Uh, let's get some coal in all of this. Our semi-automatic base needs a bit more love and attention. And over this way as well. Is that one out of resources? Yeah, it is. Is this one empty? Yes. I love Piccadilly's. 10 out of 10, best mud. There's still iron here. And some stone. We've actually got plenty of stone here. Let's take some of that back. Uh, did we only get iron? Or oh, I used shift C over here, didn't I? That actually needs moving. No, it doesn't. And I think I need to go grab red cards as well. Uh, shift C. Fantastic. Alright, so we're getting close to the beginnings of a first proper little starter base. Um, let's see. Copper is here, iron is here, coal is here. Makes it a little bit awkward. I think I want to do a bit more exploring. Uh, I would love to get the car before I commit to where I'm going to build a main bus. Sentinels consume how much power? Only 40 kilowatts. That's, that's two wind turbines. Uh, speaking of power, we don't have enough of it. How much does it cost to research this? 100. That's more than I was expecting. Uh, why don't we just spam some more wind turbines? Right this moment. I'm surprised... Our power plants aren't handling it all? Oh, we got separate network- oh! Well, there's your problem. How did this get disconnected? Oh, it got destroyed! Did the biters kill it, or was it the asteroid? I think the biters. Alright, we've got tons of power now. Fantastic. Should probably beef up our defenses somewhat. Uh, let's automate a bit of steel. So that we'll have some when we get back from whatever little errands we're going to run. Uh, I've got an awful lot of handcrafting happening though. We don't need all these wind turbines right now. Get out of here. I need to figure out what to do with raw rare metals. Uh, delivery can and capsule. We smelt it to make rare metals. Simple as that. And everything else is for later. Uh, do I have some furnaces? I actually do. And raw rare metals. 
Oh, I forgot. We have to set recipes. Oh, we actually need a multiple of 10. So that was kind of useless. I do have a multiple of 10, but... I think. Yeah, we got 50 here. Actually, I should do this. There we go. And what be the purpose of raw, I mean, rare metals? N nothing yet. Everything is behind research. Alright. Drills? Drills. And let's go. Uh, what's our rate going to be? Let's get our lighted power poles here. Actually, I probably should have taken into consideration how much power these use. Or is it just free? Wire reach is 7.75 as opposed to 7.5. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't think it consumes any power. Oh. Oh, yes, it does. 45 kil... 5 kilowatts each. Okay. That's pretty minimal. I think we can live with that. Um, and what's our rate from here? Uh, 100 per minute. And this consumes 56 per minute. I think we can do the math on that one. Oh! Rude. Uh, let's get some more furnaces. And I should probably head out this way. Also, while we're at it, let's get a couple of boxes. Is that gonna reach? No. And a turret to protect some light armor and I guess we're trudging out in this general direction Unfortunate. Alright. Uh, I should probably put a turret here as well. Should probably get some more rifle mags. And should I go left or right first? Well, we know where biters are down here, so... Probably a good idea. Probably a more efficient use of our time at this point. First use of rare metals for me was upgrading miners to Mark II. The lamp is probably a hidden secondary placeable, which is why the power usage won't show up in overlays. At least that's how it used to work for modded lighted power poles. Fair enough. We can pretty easily find it in the consumption stats anyway. And yeah, even at this stage of the game, five, 5 watts for each pole is really not that big of a deal compared to not being able to see. Alright, this is the part where I put my SMG away because I want I don't want this rifle mag coming back here when I try to give it to turrets. And one, 
two. Oh. Got full coverage. Fantastic. Let's get the creep. Dum, 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 dum. And I'm betting there's another biter base or two down here. Probably. I really need to know what's over here as well. Uh, approximately nothing, it looks like. Probably no land bridge over there. Probably. Where's the edge of our pollution cloud? I should probably head up this way, actually. I don't know if Rampant lets them attack from further than the pollution cloud. Um, but we should definitely make sure we've cleared them. Oh. Oh, I see you. Don't think I don't see you. They're kind of hard to hit with the pistol. There we go. A radar and wind turbine. Good day, by the way. Old Busk. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Look at the little... <laughs> adorable? Yeah. They get bigger. I should probably make some more ammo. Oh, I thought I only had 27 for a second there. This is fine, though. And more or less straight up now. Uh, this would be a great space for a main bus space. I should definitely put a little more effort than I usually do into making some roads. Since everything is snow. Is this the edge of our pollution cloud? Yes, it is. Is this a choke point or the end of this continent? Fantastic. That's what I want to see, actually. Biters can't get through there, can they? No. Grab some fishies. Sentinel requires exactly one wind turbine to run, doesn't it? Two wind turbines, so we have to... If we want it on its own separate little network, we can just put down two of these next to it. That's not too bad. Heavy armor seems to have stopped. I am not surprised. Uh, we're still making glass though. How much wood is over here? 140. I should. How much power does this use? 207 kilowatts. We've got. A million to spare. Let's make some more of these. We need wood and glass. A little bit ironic that we need wood to make wood. Just a tad smidge. Uh, how much water does it use? Per second. 
only 6.667. Uh, one of these offshore pumps can support a million of these, but the minimum power consumption of an offshore pump is zero, so the only waste here is a bit of metal to make this thing in the first place. Um, but that said... Oh wait, I think if we put these next to each other, they'll actually just share water. Fantastic. Um, I don't really have room for the third one. Oh, did I not make the third one? Well, this works out, I suppose. Uh, let's make a couple of wooden chests here. And... Voila. And we just doubled our wood. Thanks for doing this run, no worries. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. Ten. Uh, so we need... Nine more. RF Holloway. Fantastic. And we need red data cards. 86. Oops. That is going to get us way more than we need for our heavy armor. Um, Sentinel is kind of nice to have. Uh, I want... I want a car more than anything else. So we're going to have to do fluid handling and all this stuff. Why don't we knock this out first so that I can play with it? Um, and we can have other familiar researches happening while I'm working that out. Car needs green data cards. And Logi 2 and Fuel. Oops. What? What? I don't love this research tree sometimes. I want to get whatever we need for oil processing. There we go. Um, and I kind of need to explore up here as well. Let's, uh, I said I was going to get some steel sorted out, but I forgot this, the last step. So is it just iron becomes steel? No, we need coke. Coke plus iron plate. And apparently we make coke in furnace. It's just wood and coal. Uh, maybe not quite that much. Actually, can I put this right in the middle? Not quite. But yes. Alright. And I'll steal some of this, shove this in here, and that, that is, oh, it was putting coke in as fuel. Is that a waste or is it good? Coke is 10 megajoules, stacks to 50. Coal is 6 megajoules, stacks to 50, and... Uh, wood, of course, 1.25. Let's see, 6 6s, 36 megajoules, plus 6 times 1.25 is like 10-ish. 
46 megajoules. Uh, seems like we lose a bunch of energy. Am I wrong? 1.25 megajoules times 6. 7.5. That was less than I thought. That's even worse. I, no, it's not. Uh, 6 times 6 is 36. And... Oh, it makes 6. Okay. So instead of 43.5, we get... Uh, 50 megajoules. So yeah, we actually gain energy doing this. Alright then. Uh, in that case, go ahead and use hope as fuel, I suppose. With my blessing. Could I get some wood back? Um, the power poles aren't going to reach here. There we go. Oh. Yeah, we definitely need to investigate that. There should be three sentinels in the wreck. Is that so? Uh, I think we looted everything already. Yeah, I, I don't think it has three sentinels. Okay. Uh, what have we got? Wood chests, these two, and these two inserters. And hopefully we'll have a decent amount of steel by the time we get back. Uh, we've got plenty of ammo. We've got health packs, we've got gun turrets. We've got... let's make our armor a little bit better before we go. We can and test. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Okay, never mind. I don't want to have that old light armor sitting around. Maybe when clearing other debris? Uh, didn't they all just act as containers? And if we use alt mode, uh, we were able to see them? I mean, I can try. See if we can't follow the path. The path of the bider. Where's our pollution cloud? I th I'm pretty sure we turned off bider expansion. Can I check that? It's not under mod settings. Hmm. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we turned that off. In fact, we restarted to make sure we turned it off. So I think Rampant is probably sending attacks despite the distance with the pollution cloud. I mean, I already explored up here. Maybe it's right here. Hmm. Not in K2, I think you get extra plates or steel or some other stuff. Let's see. Crunch, crunch, crunch. This will do for a start. That's actually a bit chunky for compared to what we've been dealing with so far. And a few more. Uh, give us some ammo, please. Half of, oh, you're, we've already got lots of ammo. And go. 
probably should have made more repair packs. Give me some of your lemon. That's a repair pack, we can't use that as ammo. Nom nom nom. Delicious. And we're seeing a lot of little biters coming from here and here. Ow. Cheeky. You have to take rocks and things into account. But that was another nest. Uh, that is another nest up there. I want to get a little closer if I can. Never mind. This for starters. is coming from here when there shouldn't be anything this way. Are they sending out patrols? I can't remember exactly what Rampant claims to do with the AI. see those two chasing me. They are not giving up. This is a pretty big open space as well for a base, but the resources would be a bit further away, I think. Patrols, that's clever. Indeed. Use Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Those med kits don't go far. First aid kits, rather. Oh my god, I can't hit them. There we go. And steal this one. Get a very even distribution there. Take a couple of these so that we have ammo. Fresh start, yes indeed. Undead hunter, good. 
What? Whoa, 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 what? What? No, Alt C. There we go. Uh, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um, so hopefully that'll at least reduce the attacks. Let's see if this is the end of the continent. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Should see it on the map now. And let's head back and get fluid chemistry going. Creep can fuel your car, can it? Mainly used for military science packs, indeed. So I've heard. I think we can produce it later. So it's not like... It's not like uh, in the bad old days where you had to manually go out and get fighter orb thingies for military science. You can grow your own creep later, but that takes an initial amount of creep. Alright. And we're finally back. Let's go pick up some metal. We take that. Actually, you can have that. Is this one empty? Yes, it is. And, yeah. And yonk. This got damaged. I don't even have a gun here. How did it get damaged but not destroyed? Uh, let's get some ammo in there. SP Joe aka Key, thank you very much for the three months with Prime. Much appreciated, thank you. A fresh start, very neat. Yes, indeed. Finished the last playthrough. This is correct. Overclock. Obi. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is this gun turret doing? Uh, I guess I shouldn't have put it behind this wreck stuff. Although, it doesn't look like it should stop it. How does SE end? Uh, the victory condition I went for was spaceship victory. You need to put a very, very expensive machine in a number of ways uh, in a spaceship and have that spaceship go 250 speed in interstellar space for 10 minutes while it consumes at least 6.25 gigawatts of power, uh, and it takes up, it costs 12, uh, 2,000 hull stress, or container stress as well. I think it's container stress. Okay, uh, wood goes in here. I'll take the glass, that's a lot of glass actually. We'll just hold on to a few stacks. And we're way ahead on power still. Um, I guess for the moment I'll just build more mining drills. Don't need these. We can handcraft the burners. Don't really need this. And we can probably start using electric drills for this part. With K2, I usually make a giant tree slash wood farming operation at the start. Produces more power than you put in. If you turn the wood into fuel, it also doubles as a nice pollution inhibitor. Nice. 
We can also use the wood for electronic circuits as well. So we can... The only finite resource for electronic circuits becomes copper. Revan, name and base. No worries. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need to skip these. There we go. Revan. Overclock as well. And once again, front of the queue. Fantastic. I think I handcrafted one too many of these, but it's fine. Emo. Let's make it a triple. Oh, hey, oh, hey, you sorrow. Oh, hey, you sorrow. There we go. Fantastic. All right, uh, drills. Hmm, I don't particularly want to mix these. I could bring all these down to tiles. Uh, I won't worry about it just yet. You know what? Why don't we concentrate on... Just sticking with getting the big mines started. Uh, let's grab our blueprint. Our very first one, the K2SE. And that is going to cover all of this. Fantastic. And lit power poles. I need some more glass. Wait, no, I need some more copper. I can manage that. I guess we can't do any dual smelting because we have to set recipes. doing a horizontal main bus base? Do we have to? Or even south to north? At the ultimate heresy? Otherwise, at this early stage, I would have to drag resources all the way over here. Uh, I think for our initial base, we're just going to have it kind of like here-ish. Copper's going to have to go a little bit of a long way either way. Oh, we can use this patch for the copper. Alright, let's make a start. Um, I want to figure out the layout for this. It's probably no different from vanilla. Is our research still going? We've got wood. We don't have copper. If this goes on, the list needs its own planet. Yeah. That's a good idea, actually. Oh, wait, would it count as name and base if we have a, if we have the names on a separate planet? Or is that name outside of base? Uh, 
windmills, indeed. They're very nice. They just churn out energy unconditionally, weirdly enough. I guess, um... I was going to say, I guess there isn't the mechanics to make it vary its output, but steam engines do that all the time. Alright, so I, I do pre Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! How dare you? No? Bad? Done with a newspaper. Hmm... We definitely just... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. No rest for the wicked. I see more coming. Um, we definitely just checked for bases up here. Don't get it? Where are they coming from? Who knows? Oh my... No. No, that's not okay. No. Oh my god. This is not okay. I can't see what used to be here. No. Oh my god. <laughs> you vicious bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Rip chat. <laughs> oh my god. Of all the things, they went for the static stone name tags. <laughs> Run last restart. <laughs> I'll fix it later. I've got the... I've got the old save and the VODs that I can refer to. <laughs> walls, we need walls that is unac unacceptable. <laughs> yep. Alright, are we done with crafting these? That... That, that is just... That is just rude. Rampant? Yeah, rampant. Alright. Uh, I guess we need to focus on military things for a while. We've got so much ground to cover, though. I really need the car. It's a, that's a long way off. We need green science. Okay, green science is pretty easy. Keep it to remember? Maybe I should. I'll redo the names. The names will be in a secure compound. Your cogs now? My cogs now. Uh, I mean, I've got some, slash, I can craft them. Oh no, now what? Another one. Oh, and this one, this one does AoE poison damage as well. Where is it coming from? Okay, um, can we make walls? We can't make walls yet. Let's prioritize. And we need copper in here. They're back again. This is getting a little bit ridiculous. Um, okay, they keep showing up here. Let's put a turret down. And... Stone walls are probably going to block their shots, maybe. Right?
they really like your chat? They really do. It's weird. Um, Sentinels. I guess those are a higher priority now. Projectile damage. We need the next tier of science after that. Weapon shooting speed, why not? Med pack. And then we'll go back to trying to do some actual research. Uh, I really don't like how much ground I need to cover with such low tech here. Defense wise. I need to pick up red data cards, there we go. Wood goes in here. Um, I guess I could automate the deliveries for a couple of these things. Can you... yeah, there we go. I can't actually get through there. Yes, I can. And... Into this chest, I suppose. I need some metal. Copper, to be precise. What are we handcrafting here? More belts. Not what not. Uh, we need to handcraft how many parts to make inserters? Good grief. Should probably automate some of that. Like, can we do a long arm? Yeah, we can. Um, I don't have a nav set to, like, plan out a ghost of this right now, but we can put it right here, and we'll do steel cogs on the safer side. Um, can we cancel some of these? There we go. Why do we have no steel? Because we have no coke. Because we have no wood. Uh, Ship C didn't put wood in here. That's a little odd. How much do we get? One to one. Spiders can read the go the other way messages. The go the other way messages. Um... Okay, I don't really care if steel is slow for the moment. And I needed one yellow inserter. Oh, wait, no. I needed some yellows down here. I don't remember what for. Or did we actually finish here? Oh, this one. Okay. So that is... wood. Let's get copper. Fully automated. In fact, can we just push these out of the way? Blueprint goes about here.
Need some more undergrounds, I think. Need some more regular belts first. Didn't mean to do that. Close enough. Some more drills. Um, what rate are we getting from all this? So far, four per second. Uh, and then this thing does 1.25 per second. We would only need four. Why don't we just keep the fuel and stuff over here? Two, three, four. And some power. I don't mind manually resupplying the coal for now. We don't have to do it very often. Alright, so we want copper over there. Bit more belt, I think. Let's grab some iron. Let's grab some... Oh, I did this backwards. That one's right. Uh, I've just ran out of inserters. Cancel all this, please. I don't like how long it takes to handcraft inserters now. There we go. And this goes here. Alright, cool. Uh, let's get another gun turret here, since this place is kind of valuable. We've got 62 transport belts. Should be more than enough. Can I... Squeeze this through here. Delicious spaghetti. Don't need a container here, really. Alright. So I think everything but coal... Oh, and iron goes here, but we haven't had to ref refresh that, like, ever. Almost. Seems like it, the shift C puts iron back in here. I think that might be why. Probably. Let, let's test this theory. Um, I don't need any coal in here anymore if I power these. That's a lot of coal though. Yeah, yeah, shift C puts coal in there. So if I put one iron here, one iron here, shift C, and it even distributes some iron. Good to know. Alright, let's put more iron in here, get rid of all this. Uh, I suppose coal can go in there. Oh, a K2SE run, indeed. Kellogg's, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Partial automation was king for a fairly long time when I did this, yeah. 
Uh, Fracco. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Alright, so research is happening. Can we do better with the labs? We cannot. Um, we probably don't need any more... Any more electric drills for copper right now. Definitely put this in a box though. And ship to see that. Alright. What's next? I really do think we should go for the car. It's just too much ground to cover uh, to cover otherwise. Let's forget about this stuff for now. And then uh, requires what? This thing this thing, Logi 2, and multi-cylinder, and finally, finally we'll be able to queue up the car. It's been a long road, or a long total lack of a road actually. I don't want this wreckage blocking turret shots. Oh, we do get stuff from that. And there's a sentinel. Well, I'll be. We have a single solitary sentinel now. Have you tried the Rampant Biters mod? We're using it. So yes. Tiberius? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And a yoink. And a yoink. This is with Rampant, yes it is. That's why the biters are so tiny for the moment. And why we've got biters with like different elements and stuff like that. Alright, just uh, 20 more science. Uh, 20 more points of research and we get another a new tech to play with. And I guess I should put some more turrets down while I'm waiting. Let's get some more ammo as well. Coal, iron, and copper. Maybe I should automate that. Seems like a pretty sensible idea, actually. Uh, as much as I do need coal and iron, it is a bit of a nuisance to mine both at once from one drill. I'm surprised we're getting coal from this. Oh, there it is. Sneaky. Don't actually have this drill. Um, so I was gonna do assembly machine, ammo, coal, iron, and copper. Spaghetti. 
get this down here. Still don't have the drill. Oh my goodness. Skip one turret, please. And certain. now. Good. Actually, why don't we just do it like this. One off. Right. So that's ammo. Fluid chemistry is at 94%. Oh, 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 that's iron ore. Duh. Uh, okay. Pick this up. Add a smelterino. Right about... Hmm. Right about here, I suppose. I guess I could have done this. Need yet another inserter. And a power pole. Research complete. Fantastic. And smelt. Okay. That's what I want to see. Now. Water electrolysis. Sand and water becomes chlorine and hydrogen. Don't know what we need those for yet. Electrolysis plant. Filtration plant. What does this do? Exactly. Filtration plant. Doesn't really say. I mean, it's in the name, but what exactly does it do? Chemical plant, we're going to be needing. Uh, we need glass to make one of these. Luckily, glass is right here. Take that copper. In fact, I should probably make a chest for copper as well. How's our research? I need some red data cards. Morning, new map. Yes, indeed. Shatka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, I'll take that ammo. No, as little as it is. Uh, can we do fast inserters? We cannot. How about this? Close enough. Good to crunching snow is going to drive me crazy. Crunch, 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 crunch. Did you get the circle of irritation? Oh, irrigation. Circle of irritation. Do you mean what we were working on with oxygen not included? Oh, the Stargate, no. No, I didn't even... I, I couldn't even see a lead to figure out the Stargate, so... Uh, so I hung up on that call. That's, uh... 
that's for someone with... I don't want to say too much time on their hands. Except I sort of do. Let's get this coal placed up here. Steel gear wheel, cogs. Uh, what do we make the inserter parts out of? Iron stick, iron gear wheel. Hmm. Do you have mood speed penalties for terrain in alien biomes disabled? Not to my knowledge, but it doesn't feel like I'm not moving at normal speed. Says the dude that has recordings of literal hundreds of hours of Factorio gameplay. Yeah, but that's not just staring at something with absolutely no uh, hint of what to do. Like, it really was getting to the point of just throwing shit at a wall and seeing if anything will stick, and it doesn't. Did you finish the last playthrough? Yeah, we did the spaceship victory. And then played around with the Ring of Irritation. To no avail. Um, alright, so this goes here, and then... Uh, that's all it takes for inserter parts, actually. Alright, let's get a little bit more wood. In fact, maybe I already want more wood throughput, just in case. Let's get another... another one of these facilities. Or two. Too much time on their hands, just more time than you. Yeah, I mean, to be willing to put that kind of time into just scratching your head at, a, at an arbitrary puzzle with, I cannot stress this enough, absolutely nothing resembling a good hint. Check for the recipe with sand in the greenhouses. It's faster, isn't it? 60 seconds for 40, 120 seconds for 20, but this is basically free. It just costs energy. Is your previous map available for download? Uh, I did upload it quite a while ago, but not the finished one. And then we need inserters again. Uh, I should make automation cores as well. Iron stick, iron gear, copper plate. Oh, and don't forget the pipe. Fantastic. Alright, we should be swimming in wood pretty soon. Get this out of my inventory, please. Fantastic. Uh, iron stick, iron gear, and copper plate. It's kind of in the way over here. Mm. I think as long as we have these two in our inventory, um, we can probably manage with the handcrafting for the automation cores. Alright, why is this not happening? Iron gear wheel, because that's a steel gear wheel, that's why. 
Uh, alright. Let's swap these two. Now then, oil processing is happening. Did we get a chemical plant? We did. Let's see what we can... Well, I've never seen that before. No recipe available. Chemical plants are literally useless at this point. That's disappointing, thanks, though. Wait, what is... The map thing? I can upload it again. It will take a little while, it's not as if I can do it right now, it's more than half a gig. Unmineable resources... Wow, yeah. Wow indeed. No, I was asking if you could turn wood into charcoal. Uh, no, you can make coke, but that also requires coal. Coal plus wood makes coke. And the process does actually gain energy. It's not just that we need it for making steel. Oh, speaking of which... Got to... I did press shift C up here, but apparently I need to manually put this in. What's up, Andy Gaming? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, is this busted? Does it need our intervention? Let's finally get some belt involved here. And even if it's just one of these that's fully automated, uh, that is what, uh, that is infinitely more than we had before. And how about some yellow inserters? I don't have... What am I missing here? Small electric probably needs copper. Copper cable. Num 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 copper. Actually, I should have taken it from here. Alright, but that's for after we finish the rest of this. Belt, go there. Let's get a turret here, since the biters loved this spot so much. Some power. And some power. Cool. How far away are the biters? They're beyond the pollution cloud, but they're still attacking. I used to do massive wood production to power my factory, effectively burning stone for power. Oh, using the sand recipe? Pepper Beast. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so that is fully automated luxury space research. Somewhat. I was just thinking, someone saying they have an awesome PC and then loading in your last map could be amusing, yeah. Or it could blow away my PC, or a bit of both. Otherwise it couldn't get a single yellow belt of wood from a rail block. Oh, I see. Okay. 
we're kind of in a holding pattern here, just waiting for oil processing. Uh, we should probably see where we're going to get our oil from. Oh, here it is. It's orange. Crude oil, 3.5 million. It's down here as well. Mm, I have to do so much before I can get the car. But this area is so big, I kind of need the car. We should automate uh, walls and maybe even turrets. Let's see, stone brick and nothing else. Let's tear up this old stuff. No, not mine. Uh, I have a feeling that's too much stone to pick up. Yeah. Pick a dollies to the rescue. And let's grab our blueprint. How many drills do we have? Don't have any belts right now. Uh, and then we need some smelters. I could just manually reset. No, let's do a split here. All the spaghetti automation. What am I handcrafting right now? Inserters. Did I just run out? No, I've got regular ones. Can we stop with this? And we're good. Or not just yet, actually. There we go. And still not there. Alright, where should we put the stone brick? We were going to make walls. Let's go over here. So we can use it for something else as well. Wall. And... Shove it in here. Fantastic. Maybe we could go a little bit faster, even, since we're going to need a lot of them. But we're going to need just as many turrets to keep up with it. That's going to be the real bottleneck, I think. I think I just saw bullets. Yeah, I did. Oh, this inserter was already keeping up, I think. Yeah. Alright, research continues. What recipes do we get out of this? Just basic oil refinery. The pump jack is black. It's going to need steel. Not much else. Steel, glass, iron, of course. Where's our power? It's actually creeping up there. Let's make some more boilers. Those were never built, right? They didn't get destroyed. Weird that the biters went past a coal mine. To attack our nameplates. Just maximally rude. Uh, 
Uh, did we get this built? Yeah, we did. And this part actually should be burner and sodas. Otherwise, we could get a vicious cycle. So they ignore the coal plant, the coal mine. Uh, they attack a couple of specific power poles and go straight for the, for the nameplates. Today, don't you just love the continuous handcrafting of early game? It's the best part of the game. Absolutely. Um, I should probably put in another pump. Let's put this here. And... Bit of pipe here. And then we need an offshore pump. Hopefully I didn't just delete the... I did. Are you kidding me? Are we gonna are we gonna be one pipe short for this? No, we're gonna be three pipes short. I don't have any iron in my trash slots or something. Two pipes equal two pumps equals five wind turbines. Uh, do you mean the power consumption? Yeah, that's only if they're going full power all the time, though, which they won't be. The minimum power consumption on uh, miners, offshore pumps, and probably pump jacks, I think, uh, is zero. So, unless it's actually operating at maximum speed, it's actually consuming a lot less. What did I come back here for? Iron. And I should probably be a bit more diligent in collecting that. I hate small power poles. What do we need? Uh, iron stick and copper. Oh, it's trying to do the lighted ones. Let's grab some coal. Uh, I should probably grab these data cards. In fact, can we actually... If we do this both ways, is it going to do weird things? It actually is. Well, that works. Whatever, we've just doubled our AFK um, signs rate. everywhere. We've got a whopping 42 walls. That kind of pace is not going to cut it. Uh, how do we get this coal down here? Uh, I'm sure that machine can go a lot faster, so we don't need another one. Where did my coal go? Let's just use the belt. Long arm insert. Uh, the ground. And another long arm. And 
fantastic. And what about ammo production? 459. That is quite acceptable, actually. I'll take those walls for now. The yellows are turned the wrong way. Which ones? Stone brick. Oh, these ones? Good point, thank you. Brick output, yes indeed. Uh, you know what we should use here? Something I'm not used to having. Loaders. They do a full belt of throughput at no power cost. And on just one tile. Although it gives you some weird patterns like if we don't have saturated input to the loader here, it's not going to keep both sides of the belt equal, I think. So bear in mind things like that. Why is there iron in here? Uh-oh. Uh... Since when? This one? Why did it take this long for the iron to show up? Can we filter it? I don't think we can. Oh, we can filter this here, actually. Oh. Nice. Very nice. Alright, get the random iron off the belt. Yeah, it's actually two of these drills, at least three of them that are getting iron. Alright, let's make sure we get rid of that. And smelty smelty. Don't need to worry about supplying them with coal. And that's a nice, easy way to get ourselves a bit more iron. Actually, it's not a whole lot of iron. I can't move. Uh, power pole. There we go. What happened here? Oh, that's the recipe. I thought there was a little piece of iron up here somehow. The splitters you can filter, that that's true as well, but also, yeah, the output, not the input loaders, but the output loaders have filters on them. Daniel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Darkfire full of Phoenix, welcome, welcome also. Just splitter the iron out right after the chest output. Um, I don't think we need to. It's hardly ever going to output iron here. These two smelters should be way more than enough to get, uh, to keep it empty. That cheaty pick a dolly, always funny. Pick a dolly, best dolly. Look at this. Oh. No, I need the nav set. I can move my player character around with the nav set. And we've already got another 55 walls, much better. Okay. Uh, so we've got oil now. We need some iron. Always need some iron. Is this not... Oh, it's full already. So, yes it is. Can I fit... Can't fit two more of these without getting coal. So why don't we just put this here?
iron, steel, cogs, steel, cogs, iron, cogs, stick, inserter parts, and furthermore, iron. I don't know if I really need the iron sticks in my inventory, to be honest. Um, because they handcraft so fast. Maybe I'll just stick those in there. No pun intended. And research is going rather quick right now. Copper cable plus wood gives us green circuits. Uh, why don't we do a few of those here? Let's see, what kind of ratio? Is it going to be the traditional ratio? 3 to 2? It is... yes, actually. Okay. Um, I think we need fast inserters to keep up with some of this, though. We do have inserters that we can configure insofar as which side of the belt they output onto. Um, but that's as far as it goes. It's not like we can have them do corners or anything, so I'll need a couple of chests here. And we can do some long arms. Oh, that's much better, the handcrafting. Let's get some lamps. Because I want them. No other... Wait, wait, no, not that one. No! Dead end. No upgrade path. Lighted substation marked... Wait, we can already make substations? Wait, what? No. We can't. We need the substation. It's, it's like before when we could have, when we had the recipe for this, but no lamp. Substation Mark Two. Well, we definitely don't have that. Uh, one and a two. And let's put this one over here. Actually, uh, can't win, can I? Definitely not. Alright, may as well... Oh, like this. This is fine. Fantastic. Oh, this is backwards again. Quick question, how come your ghosts are a different colour? My ghosts are a different colour? What do you mean? Oh, like, uh... On the map? No? They look pretty normal to me. Special vamps. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You could mine iron and coal in one chest with floaters and filter two belts out. One iron and one coal, I suppose so. But the rate we're going to get iron out of this, um, these two can easily deal with it. I'm sure one could easily deal with it. Alright, now we have circuits. Fantastic. Uh, so we'll be needing some... Well, we'll need bump jacks before the oil refineries, which means we need to take this territory, which means I would really like to have a car, hopefully even find a bottleneck somewhere. Ghosts in vanilla and SE are different colors. Okay, passion, passion sausage, midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Morning, midden. Wait, what? Wait, what, what? I was thinking it's SE. It's SE K2. Yes. K2 SE.
And we are... Uh, this far away from a car. We have three things that require green tech cards. Which are actually pretty simple. Blank tech, circuit, and gear. We're not going to spaghetti that together, though, I think. Um, we'll just semi-automate that for now. Until we can get a... Get our territory secure so we can make a proper base at our leisure. We can at least have one of the inputs nice and uh, handy. Iron gear wheel blank tech card. Requires copper cable. And iron plate. Alright, so we bring iron and gears. Um, like this. Fantastic. Okay. Spaghetti complete. Oh, that's kind of slow. What's our rate here? Uh, per minute, 7.5. Per hour, 4.50. We need 125 plus 200, uh, 325. This is going to take most of an hour at this rate. Um, can we spaghetti this one together over here? there. Uh, gears. Something like this. Alright, so... Iron goes in here. Let's get some iron. Oh, this needs a box as well. Uh, I can make the most of this one box if I... This. No, I can't. Unless... Alright, that's a decent amount of iron. And I'm guessing this wants wood and coal. Yes, indeed. Let's take this. Shift C won't cut it, or will it? I should probably make a box for this as well. So we need wood and coal in this box. It's one to one, isn't it? But wood has twice the stack size. All right, let's go grab some vast quantities of wood. Asandanima, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Factorio time indeed. How, uh, Crestorio and SE treating you so far, not too bad. 
Uh, you know what? We could probably have a bigger container here. And we could probably use a loader for this part. In fact, we could... No, it's fine. Perfect. Let the almighty spaghetti grow, indeed. OMG new factory adventure, yes indeed. Tinos, Nightfire, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Name in base, okie dokie. Alright, so that's our coke. Uh, it's gonna last a bit longer this time. Let's get some iron in here. And we've already got this slot. This is no longer working because there's no wood. Why is there no wood? Because this is just slow. Um, we should probably steal from this whole belt for the wood, actually. Insertions. How do I not have any more prerequisites? I thought I was carrying them all. Like, almost all of them, anyway. Also ran out of belt. I'll wait for that one inserter. the biters won't eat this one. Fantastic. Can I repair one of these a little bit? Uh, I know that was Velda. Was that a coincidence? I think it puts down an A by default. Yeah, it does. Okay, it didn't remember that that was Valdak. Uh, we need a V. That's Vadek. What am I doing? Bell. Yeah, I'll have to refer to my old saved file slash the VOD to fix the rest of that. He forgot chest output on second green data card assembler. Indeed. We don't have the green circuits yet either. Okay, so we got 25. We're looking for 325. It's going to take like half an hour, give or take if we keep it running. If we keep it running. Can these things take green data cards? Yeah, they can. Uh, so shift C. And we have no reds. We have no reds because we have no blanks. We have no blanks because we have no copper cable. But I never... I never arranged for copper cable to get in here automatically. Did I really just keep it going by shift C over and over? I think I just heard a gun turret go off. And also iron plate, same story. Grab some more wood. Tasman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I need... I 
need some iron in here. Uh, let's do the name. I can't do the name till the crafting stops. Want the two thousand and eight? Okay. Um, back to our iron plate. Yes, please. No worries. Give to me all of it. Thank you. Let's get ahead of the inserters if we can. And one for you. You're f more than fine, actually. A couple of stacks for you. A couple of stacks for you. And no green circuits because no wood. Well, guess what? I need faster inserters. Kind of. If I do three inserters for each of these. Yeah, there's two for this, two for this, two for this. That should actually work reasonably well. Um, but yeah, faster. Oh, this is only 30. Let's grab it. Let's absolutely grab that. Car requires this as well. Fantastic. Um, let's do a little distribution here. Shack cut. Aim in base. Okay. Oh, we should probably put some gun turrets around the names. Um, since the biters love them so much. That's a lot of ammo. That's good. And over here. SC plus... K2, yes indeed, Creakly, Darudi, welcome, welcome also. Looks like my name was destroyed, yes indeed. I'm going to have to restore it from looking at uh, the start of the stream slash the old save. They are hungry, yeah, they really like eating the text plates for some reason. I mean, they've literally gone past our power plant... Our coal mine uh, only killed a couple of the power poles here, and they've gone straight for the text plates. I'm not sure why that is. Speaking of which, I should probably have some defenses for uh, for these jugular veins about base. So let's... We can shoot through the cliffs, right? Yeah. Let's put this here. I don't think a hundred ammo is too much. I don't want to have to come back here all the time. Uh, 
best defense air purifier. The thing is, we've cleared them out to the end of the pollution cloud. Uh, I'm pretty sure. There might be some up here. But uh, we have reason to believe they attack beyond the range of the pollution cloud. Let's do a little underground here. And we can put a turret here. Are they going to be able to shoot through that? Yeah. I can't actually damage my own stuff this way. That's good. Uh, can we... How about a hundred? Okay. What did we just research? It cost 30 and it was surprisingly good. Fast inserters. There we go. Definitely good to have those. Decent is... Decent is defense? Now he is building turrets after they nibble <laughs> off the list away. <laughs> yeah, well I didn't know we would ever have to defend that in my defense. Alright, that goes there, that goes there. Uh, this would go here, but I think... Well, we tend to get, like, 80 wood at a time, or 40 wood at a time. Should probably make some more wood production, since our green circuits are going to depend on it. We need glass and iron. We've already got a lot of glass, actually. Never enough iron. Not even once. Only three stacks. Oh, we've got more than a stack over here, actually. Surprisingly. It seems to come in bursts. Uh, what else was I doing here? Why don't we limit that to like three stacks? And then we can auto fill it. Does this even need... If we upgrade these, it doesn't need coal anymore. Misplaced a blue inserter for the green circuits. I don't think we did. Uh, where did my glass go? Oh, it got quick stacked. Okay. I actually want to double the wood right now. Until we see green circuit wood saturated. Um, let's see, per minute, 120. Per minute, 40. Oh, we would have to triple this just for the green circuits. Okay. I mean, the main resource that this costs is space. Now, 200 kilowatt isn't that cheap, but it's really not that much. Um, automation core requires iron, no doubt. Copper. We can do copper. Uh, one, two, three, four. It's going to take a minute to handcraft that. We can plan our layout in the meantime. Let's include the recipe. And how much water does this use? Very, very little. We can probably just connect all of these directly. Oh, I think we're missing some pipe up here as well. I forgot about that. One, 
underground pipe. How did this get placed? I don't remember placing it. Oh, it must have filled up my hand the moment that I was placing a ghost or something. Uh, this is kind of in the way. Gonna need some belt. Gonna need some turret. Let's put it where it's a bit protected by natural wall. Rights output for green circuit. Oh, this one. Okay. Not much impact from that. Wait, no. Yeah, not much impact from that since we're bottlenecked on wood for now. And let's get some power down here. And over here. Actually, can we, can we not with that? Put the inserters like so. Okay. So then we just have to handcraft a few more of these. One, two, three. And we've tripled our wood. Also, we're going to need... I believe it was literally one underground pipe and one regular pipe. Uh, that we needed up where our power supply is. Precisely what I was able to handcraft a moment ago. Multi-cylinder engine go burn. We got belt. Fantastic. Products finished one zero zero zero. Okay. Uh, let's take a little walk. Oh. Let's take a little walk up this way. By the time we come back, we should have our last three greenhouses ready. Broken again? Well, we'll see. Poor... Poor Aya? Well, Malcolm, hope you're doing well. What's this? Multi-cylinder engine. Fantastic. Alright, so we got... Plank. Hasn't been handcrafted yet. And we need one more bit of pipe, actually. And then some burner inserters. I'll just put the ghosts here for now. There we go. It's a pretty small fraction of our power plant that wasn't working yet after all that. Uh, can I finish this while I'm here? Seems like it. One, two pieces of pipe. Not like I can gain any... Well, I would see if this was under attack at least by looking at the map right now. I 
didn't do the burners first. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Um, I don't have any radar vision here, so I can't check on that little mistake. How's our wood production? It's going to be very spiky. Oh wow, very neat spiky pattern. Because it's all being consumed. And it spits out 20 after, what, a minute? Two minutes? It's kind of neat. We have the power poles for this. Uh, let's make them lighted. Oh. Oh, no. Well, that we can at least fix immediately. They're attacking the belts. Which means I really do have to defend everything. I mean... We figured that out when they attacked the nameplates. Just swap these. Oh, I have a sentinel. Let's put it here. Absolutely. Oh, that's a wall. A wall is not a sentinel, as it turns out. Get the flamers, the heavy flamers. They're a little ways off yet. Oops. And power poles. Oh. One more turret. They came from this way, so probably if pollution is what's triggering them, I, I really think they're up here. I mean, obviously. How does a sentinel work? Uh, it's basically a tiny, cheap uh, radar, except it doesn't do the scanning thing. So you can see on the map the vision up here um, that's staying behind. It's smaller than the area that's revealed by having the player nearby. You can see it by the map here. So it's in this chunk. It, it only reaches one chunk outside the one that it's in. 3x3. Three three. But on the other hand, it only costs 40 kilowatts and it takes up one pile. Captain Tree, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Speaking of sentinels, let's have one here, and probably should have one up here as well, while we're at it. Oh, we still have one of these to go. Whoops. Did we finish SE? Yes, we did. Good chen. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright. Sentinel up here. I wonder if the sentinels are going to act like catnip for the biters, just like radars do. Oops. Isn't it cute? Nifty, indeed. Did you do the ring thing? No, I did not do the ring thing. I had my fill of having absolutely no leads as to how to do the ring thing. 
Alright, so what's our theoretical rate for wood over here? Uh, negative 4.375 per second. And we're only producing two. That's pretty bad, actually. Surprisingly bad. I thought I calculated... Let's see, this uses six per second. This produces... Only two per second. Uh, okay. It's way worse than I thought it would be. And yet we have uh, most of the green data cards that we need already for our short-term goals. I'll be taking those. Very much. Don't need this. Started a new SE run and now at my trains. Do you have any recommendations for how to learn LTN? My biggest recommendation with LTN is go to the mod settings. Um, your mileage may vary as to what good settings are for LTN. But uh, it's my opinion that the default settings basically act as newbie traps. Um, whereby, for example, uh, if a train takes more than, I think it's 10 minutes to get somewhere, it's considered lost and LTN will send another one. And then you're pulling your hair out wondering why there are seven trains scheduled to your station that has a train limit of one. Um, I recommend, well, this is how I prefer to do it. You can figure it out yourself, but the default of a thousand for the request and provide threshold, I don't think is very good. Um, I set it so high that it effectively doesn't exist. And it's only by setting these via con uh, constant combinators that they actually kick in. Um, I also remove the stop timeout completely. So trains will wait if if they're still unloading after two minutes, or loading for that matter. Um, I set the delivery timeout so high that it effectively doesn't exist. Um, finish loading, I disable. It keeps the train there if the inserters are still swinging, even if it's already received what it's supposed to. Um, so unless, like, consider that this is a default setting if you're on default settings, uh, you're probably not making complicated circuits to do the loading or unloading. Um, so, you know, combine that with your low provide and request threshold. A train comes for only a thousand items, but it gets filled up completely. If that's iron plate in the shortest possible train, that's 4,000. Um, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be bringing... It's, it's going to supposedly be bringing a thousand. If it's a long train, it'll be bringing 16,000. Uh, and then depending on how you've set your requests, uh, you're going to end up with the train overfilled or overfilling the station. Thank you very much. You just explained why my LTN trains are so bugged. You're welcome. Yeah, that's... um. Honestly... I don't want to say my only complaint of LTN, but, like, off the top of my head, that's it. The default settings are, like, a trap. The default settings should be set to something that... If someone is completely new to LTN and blundering their way through it and making, like, reasonable assumptions, uh, it's not going to cause a disaster. And if they didn't look at the settings... Lawrence Plays on YouTube has a good tutorial, indeed. As for the, uh, the setup with, like, the signaling, um, just realize, you know, you might find it counterintuitive at first that a negative is a request signal. Um, just realize that LTN will always try to push the signal value towards zero. So if it's a provider, 
you've got a positive signal, because that's the easiest way to do it. Don't actually have any circuit wire right now. Um, reading chest contents gives you a positive signal, so uh, it's pretty intuitive to just connect that up to the station. Positive signal means you've got stuff. Uh, negative signal means give me this much stuff to get the signal back towards zero. Or reminder, the green circuit? The green circuit. Oh, this thing? Wait, no. Wait, what? I'm so confused. There we go. And then this goes here. Yeah, okay. It's still going to be bottlenecked on wood anyway, so no harm done just yet. How much more do we need for fuel? 125, 280, and then another 100 for the car, jeez. I guess we could keep spamming wood. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Let's copy this. Gonna need more turrets. I've already got one here, actually. How is our turret coverage? Uh, it's not that bad. I do want one up here, though. And I'm gonna need a whole bunch more iron, as always. I should probably... that'll wreck your power? No, I don't think it will. I think we're okay. Um, let's get some coal up here. And I think I want... oh wow. I was gonna say I think I want to limit steel so that we get more iron over here, but yeah, it's not even making it that fast. But it's probably because it ran out of coal while I wasn't looking. Uh, all of the coal we need here is automated. Fantastic. That's a lot of stone walls. We are well on our way to... I would love to get the car first, but maybe I will start... It's going to be agonizing building a wall this big on foot. Like, entirely on foot. I really want to explore and hopefully find a bottleneck or two. And one of these. How much water does this consume? Uh, why don't we include the pump there? Yeah, no, this is... We can support this so many times over. Okay. Going to rebuild this with a bus, or can we delight in the spaghetti for a while yet? The reason I'm building spaghetti is the the space that I want to use for building a bus, the biters are going to tear us up. Um, I'm going to be running back and forth all the time with uh, getting a headache. So what I want is to get a car, clear out biters in a significant radius, hopefully stop the attacks, maybe find some good bottlenecks, secure an area, and then we can build at our leisure. Alright, so that is... how much? Uh, 2.666 wood per second. And this would consume six. How much wood does this use? Only 0.125. So pretty much all of it is just circuits. Um, probably the fact that this is taking ages to saturate doesn't work so well. I could do like. One-eighth. Uh, 
Oh, no, that's one quarter. Need some more splitters. If I do strict priority, it's going to consume literally all the wood here. So, half, quarter, one eighth. And it doesn't really matter what side of the belt things are on. There we go. You have one or two green circuit on your wood underground for your green circuit. What? One or two green circuit on your wood und woods underground for your green circuit. Oh, true. Oh, we got another 129. Either my estimate on how long this was going to take to make data cut. I, I didn't see the part where it's five times. Okay, so my estimate was literally five times slower um, for how quickly we're going to get these green data cards. That's good. That is the kind of mistake that is preferable to make. Let's grab some more iron. How many data cards we have here? 30, like 40 times 5, uh, 200. So we've got like half of 125, 300 plus 75 ish, 60 ish, 360. Yeah, I think we're gonna. I think we might actually just be bottlenecked on research speed at the moment. We might actually get the green data cards before... Oh. Oh. Well, that's rude. I was wondering how the biters got here. Frickin' meteors. One meteor not destroyed. Okay. It's five cards. Yes, indeed. Root class, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can do circuits with stone tablets instead. Yeah, I wanted to go for wood because it's it's, it's basically free, right? Except for the time and power. We're not digging up a finite resource for wood, but yeah, it is rather slow. Um, I'm sure we can. Hmm. If the other recipe is stone tablet as opposed to three wood, and we can make wood faster by giving it sand. It's four times as fast. One sand for ten wood. Wait, no, one sand for four wood. Sand is... It's still... No, it's three stone. Wait, three stone to make seven to eight? 7.5 sand. Thank you so much. That is a very easy thing to calculate mentally. I think not. Wait, this is actually saturated now. That doesn't make sense. Oh, we're bottlenecked on this inserter. Okay. And we're missing copper now. Uh-oh. Let's get some... You know what? We could actually just bring coal down this way. Might have to do something 
a little different with the power poles. Oh wait, that one's in the middle, uh, in the way as well. Good grief. Doesn't need to be there anymore. How much ammo? That's a lot of ammo, that's good. What about gun turrets? Let's handcraft some. First two copper miner are done mining. Oh really? That happened sooner than expected. I guess there's not a whole lot of copper here. Let's turn these around. And we can add some more drills here, when necessary. Or we could just do it now so we don't have to remember. We only need, what, six of these? Probably less. Definitely less. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, actually. How's our turret coverage? I was going to put one over here. Let's do that while we're handcrafting. Fuel is on its way. And go. I don't think you need 200. I hope you don't need 200. Uh, I updated the mods command, but I don't see it working right now. Uh, Kuchen, if you scroll down, you can see the mods listed below the stream. Copper miner belt direction may be wrong. This is true. Uh, what you can do with that is... Oh, I guess it doesn't do anything without bots, but... If you start here, hold shift, click and drag, it'll mark all of these for being turned around. I guess without the bots it does make it more visible, so that works. Actually, can we... if I move that over one tile... That actually covers everything already. Fantastic. Is that vanilla? Yes, it is. That is vanilla behavior. I don't remember since when exactly, um, but it is vanilla behavior. And if you have, like, undergrounds in the way, um, just make sure you start... I don't know. If I start here, does that... No, it doesn't. Just make sure you start on a regular piece of belt, and you can drag this across. Um, it's an upgrade plan, so you can shift click with this and it'll get rid of it. So I'm gonna... this is pointing right, I'm gonna po uh, point this left with a ghost. Hold shift, and just click and drag that across, and that'll include the, the underground. Oh, rampant? Yes, indeed. Makes it a bit more spicy, doesn't it? Alright, let's make sure everyone's got... Oh, you've got coal fed automatically. That's good. Let's head up here to our disaster area where we do not automatically supply coal. Fantastic. Take some with me. And red data cards are backed up. 
this is good. I'll be taking those. 191. Alright, so shouldn't be too much longer till fuel is done. And then, what does the car actually need? Nothing but metal. But I'm guessing... I have a sinking suspicion that we need oil to fuel the car. Based on what someone said earlier, that we can't run it off wood. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can also smart drag it, not only shift. What do you mean by smart drag? Uh, do you mean like this stuff? Needs fuel? No. Can we make it out of wood or something somehow? So we don't have to head down to where the oil is while the biters are still nipping at our heels. Didn't someone say it is different again with K2SE? Uh, I don't know. You can use the fuel processor. Okay. We already have that, don't we? Fuel processor. Can wait for those two... Without shift, it will also rotate belt and underground without shift. Uh, but it'll, like, drag extra stuff across it, right? Yeah, like this right here, for example. If I do this this way, it doesn't add any... It doesn't add any belt, um... in between the underground belts. If you start on belt it won't, but it just did. Oh, never mind. Oh, well there you go. Oh. Huh. Fantastic. Master Eight Luck, thanks for the tip. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Below the stream? Yes, indeed. Let me just check. I don't know why the mods command isn't working. Although I have to say the mods command got rather large. Um, labs? You were out of reach before. Ah, I see. A more for yourself. Good to see you again. Well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. And that is our next research done. Let's see. Fuel processor. So this works just like with SE without K2, right? We just have to... We can shove wood into it if we want to. You know what? We don't need the green... Uh, we do. Kind of. We need 300 green data cards. What do we have? 241 plus like 100. We've already got them. Alright, let's steal the wood. Uh, in fact, we're still... We're accumulating green circuits. Alright, cool. Let's get rid of this uh, mathematical spaghetti. Just a regular splitter will be fine. Why is it all on one side? Oh, I see. And we'll put our fuel refinery here. And we should have more than enough by the time, uh, by the time we have our car. You can also try grappling gun. Oh yeah. I didn't know we'd get it that early. Wait, what? How do I grab? I don't think I picked the grappling gun mod because I said, oh, we're going to have jetpack anyway. The car runs on coal also? I don't know if it does. Or it wasn't native K2. Wooden coal into coke that turn into... 
there's a good fuel thing is to turn wood plus coal into coke and then turn coke into fuel. Yeah, because we gain energy when we make coke as well. Uh, this, however, is making processed fuel and nothing but renewables. Uh, which I'm surprised, I'm pleasantly surprised we can do so early in the game. Also, that's kind of important as well because crude oil in Crastorio is not infinite. So we want to be careful. I suppose theoretically, I don't know, could we theoretically get ourselves stuck on Nalvis? I don't want to find out the hard way. So I'm all about the renewables. Grappling gun is a mod you have to install. Okay. Yeah, I think I skipped over it just because we're going to have a jetpack anyway. But I didn't know it would be this early. Wow. I'm lazy and always use infinite resources. Yeah, uh, infinite resources are more... They're automated indefinitely, not just for a while as well. The number in the map are not what's really in the oil field with K2. Uh, it is finite though, right? Oil fields with Crastorio. That's what I've heard. That really does change things a bit. You do generate a ton of pollution going wood to coal to coke to processed fuel. That's a good point as well. Our pollution cloud still isn't that bad. Um, it is taking... We are taking our sweet time getting... Getting this research done, even though I think we already have the data cards for it. Playing without biters? No. Very much no. We've got rampant. Coal mining used to be infinite and generate some oil. Coal mining is infinite though, right? It's like one of the few things that is. Sounds like coal liquefaction would be the way to go. Uh, why is that? So you went all in. <laughs> Yeah, kind of. A little bit. Well, I, I have Biter Expansion off, so it's relatively easy as far as dealing with Rampant goes. Oh, Coal Liquefaction from the Core Fragments. Yeah, but there's going to be Oil Core Fragments, so we can get Oil that way. Oh, what's this? Give me that. One, two, three, four. And I'm just gonna steal all of these. And we're going to do a little redistribution. Let's grab the green data cards that we do have as well. Uh, and also some coal. Give to me all of the coal, please. Are you 1.6? Yes, indeed. Alright, that's going to research... Well, twice as fast, actually. Not just a little bit faster. We're still... Okay, at least the... It's, so it's 30 seconds times... 30 seconds times, like, 270 with a crafting speed of 1. Um, divided by 8. 1,000 seconds. We're looking at, like, 17 minutes. That's too long, man. I could... I think I sh I think I will. Uh, it feels like a bit of a waste, but I, I might make some more labs because I'm pretty sure we've already got the data cards we need. We definitely have the greens that we need.
shall be taking those. My inventory is too full. Now it's not full of coal at all. And... I'll double this again. Love to combine any Crestorio 2 mod run with the Bio Industries mod. All the wood, wood processing, charcoal from wood, coal from charcoal, turning said coal into oil. So that's to deal with the finite crude oil. Victorio minutes are not real minutes. Uh, I mean, we've got 60 UPS for now. I, I do intend to keep it that way, if at all possible, this time. We won't be going completely ham on scale and circuits and everything, just all of the time. Gotta love even distribution. So, if we already had the data cards... I thought I just... What? Did it put them back down here? I think it did. Let me go further up before I do... Wait, why don't I just do the click-drag thing? There we go. And I'll take these reds as well many reds. Left side. Should probably have a storage for the basic tech cards if I'm going to keep doing this. Okay. Every minute I spend at Factorio it equals something like three hours in real time. Yeah. Streamer doesn't know. Oh, I understand that well enough. Um, Alright, we've got plenty of processed fuel already. By the time we get our car, we're going to be swimming in it. Since wood has no pollution value, does it at 100% or without any pollution? Uh, what? Do you mean... No, we do produce a little... Wait, what? Negative five per minute? Hold on. Oh. These things are acting as pollution scrubbers? Just a little bit? Pollution. Four per minute. Pollution. Negative five per minute. Nice. So each greenhouse offsets about one assembly machine. Burgers and fries, thank you very much for the raid. Well, welcome, hope you're doing well. How's your stream today? Welcome, raiders. If used as fuel, that is. Duckfire Phoenix. Wood is 100% pollution. What do you mean by that? I mean, it'll pollute when it's used. Fuel pollution, 90%. Oh, you mean... No? Badok Giza, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The greenhouses remove pollution. I really like that. I hope there is more of that sort of thing in Factorio in general. I suspect the trees you can plant also absorb pollution. Yes. And we can also make machines to do it as well. All right, I think now is as good a time as any uh, to take a little bit. No, we just got a raid. Let's let's see if we can find something to do. Oh, wait, I haven't played with the fuel refinery yet. So what does this do? Nothing but solid fuel. And what is this? Red fuel? It's just called fuel. 
Oh, can we do anything with the chemical plant now? Nope. No recipe available. Feels bad, man. That's for vehicles? The air filters are a worthy investment? Yeah, I saw um, uh, Diablo playing around with those. You can even process the wastewater, which you get from cleaning filters into resources. Nice. Some friends and I used a wall of air purifiers around our factory to basically contain all pollution. Very nice. Um, I do have my skepticisms about whether keeping biters out of the pollution cloud prevents all attacks, though, with Rampant. Alright, we are most of the way, more so than it looks, to the car, because uh, this thing requires 200 science, and this one's 100. So we're about, uh, what, 125 data cards away? Uh, uh-oh. Yeah, I definitely should have been... Let's take these. Where else are we making these? There we go. I definitely should have been putting those in some chests or something. And here as well. It lessens the biter attacks and also keeps the evolution factor lower. That's true. Only attack by proximity when you don't have a pollution cloud. Uh, yeah, but I think Rampant does something a little different. I'm not sure. I don't remember. And... 98%. Let's grab some more iron before it stops. Doop -doop. Refill that, grab those. Three stacks of inserter parts, seems good. Take some more copper. Um, I need to refill iron over here. And so on. Grab these, use even distribution in redistribute mode, make sure all of those have data cards. In Crestorio 2, pollution equals resources? Wait, what? So don't just let it vanish the natural way, harvest it with filters and turn it into resources, I see. I mainly use it to get the rare metals. That's one way to look. Wow. Okay. So you don't need core mining to get infinite resources. Did I put a turret out here? Yeah, I did. Alright. I think once we get the car, we'll take a little break. In fact, why don't I do that now? It won't take long once I get back. Let's set... Oh, I should save. Make a separate save for this so that I can refer to the last one. Um, to fix the nameplates. Also, uh, we can actually have an autosave in interval now. That's um, since it doesn't take like five minutes to save our game. That seems good. Let's get some words on stream fired up. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Matrim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Last time I tried air filters, I wasn't under the impression they created huge amounts of resources. I wouldn't expect huge amounts, definitely. Hannibal, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
All right, uh, words on stream will be starting in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
Okay. Fantastic. So that's what, level 10 next? We'll continue that later. And for now, let's continue with some space exploration. One more? How many of you want one more? We've got some reds here. Can you run? Yes, indeed. Uh, Hukutos. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's put some red cards in. Me? Can be once another one. Not seeing a whole lot considering the size of chat, so maybe not this time. Uh, car is at 64%. Fantastic. We've got a lot of, uh... Green circuits now as well. Well, rel yeah, no, that is a good amount, actually. I was going to say relatively a lot, but no, that's a good amount. Um, 66%. What should we do while we wait for it to finish? Beef up our defenses a little bit. Get some more turrets. Grab some more walls. Uh, more ammo would be good. That's quite a lot of ammo, actually. I want to try out this, uh, sleeping friend. It's not going to be any more powerful. You know, th this is the point in the game when it's going to be most powerful, so let's give it a go. Don't mind me asking a lot of questions, don't mind at all. LTN got my head spin around, especially your blueprints, indeed. Uh, what about LTN, in, or the blueprints in particular? I should probably... I already have a sentinel here, right? Here seems good. Oh, it doesn't have power, duh. Uh, how about over here? They should probably be able to reach each other. Can't actually see the range if I do that. Two more. Feel safer already. Should probably take advantage of these cliffs a little bit. Uh, how about here? For example, your blocks, they seem to go both ways. Got no logistic support. How I should pull from them? Train stops on the tracks. The roundabouts go both ways. The straight rails go one way. So if you take a bit of... If you have trains that can go both ways and you take a bit of rail off one of the roundabouts, you can make a very compact uh, train stop. Uh, and you can easily put it more or less wherever you want. 87%. Let's redistribute some of these blanks. And I think it's going to go a little faster right now. There we go. 92. 94. 
96, 7, 8, 99, and car. And we can just handcraft it. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, military 2. Ooh. We get a sniper rifle. Uh, that's only 20. Let's get that before we go. Steel plate plus the last tier of mag makes better mag as well. Why didn't you, why didn't you use LTN combinators? Um, I just hadn't tried them yet. mag. Let's get a snipper whiffle. And I guess it's not auto crafting from my existing submachine gun. That is good. Still haven't handcrafted the car. We can make grenades out of coal and iron plate. Same as always. We need to make rifle mags. And we need some steel. Let's see, two steel makes one of these. I don't know if we really need the better ammo just yet. It is a little expensive. Um, and what should we queue up while we're away? Lair stack? Burn any fluid releasing a large amount of pollution and occasionally some byproducts. Yikes. Uh, strong box? Well, we don't need that kind of scale just yet. Gas power station. Mineral water extraction. Shelter. Uh, we've already got red belts. Oh, we're going to want plastic some point. Definitely. Circuit wire. Gimme. Better poles. That's actually just medium poles. Well, give me that anyway. Give me all the quality of life as we start to build our base properly. Electric lab. Uh, finish researching sentinel. Radar, perhaps. Med pack. And, I don't know, knock off plastic. Alright, where's our car? Here it comes. Fantastic. Anti-material rifle mag make, uh, is very, very easy to make. Probably not going to burn through it very quickly either. I need more coal to take with me. Why do I have this many steel gear, uh, steel gear wheels? Um, we probably probably can stop making those for a minute. I don't think there's even anything that I've used them for yet. Steel gear wheel usage. Oil pump jack, and nothing else. Okay. Where's our car? There it is. Medium pools are upgraded with K2. They have one tile more supply range. Medium pools. Uh, what do you mean by that? I think it was an extra mod, got a much better interface for train managing. Expansion turned off? Yes, but we're using Rampant. Um, I, at least I'm pretty sure I turned off Expansion. Uh, where's my car fuel? Right here. Duh. And we have the machine gun built in as well. Plastic fuel. And let's go for a ride. What is this? Wait, can we put 
<gasps> it comes with power on a grid? This is beautiful. I didn't add... Did I add... I'm pretty sure I didn't add a uh, vehicle grid myself. Is this part of K2SE? The biters be able to scale properly then since expansion is turned off. It's K2. That is so cool. I can't wait to put some basic shielding on the car so I don't have to uh, worry about hitting a little tiny tree. Is that a rock? Or is it a fake rock? It's a fake rock. And this is very clearly the end of the road. Or the not road. Engines in the car? Yeah, I vaguely remember that. You can make, um... What is it called? Can we search? Engine. Additional electric engine. It can go in the spiders as well. 100 kilowatts, 250 kilowatts, 4x4. Four four. It's kind of big. Movement bonus 30 or 50% though. With shield and E engines you can run over trees. Very, very nice. Will we even need to turret creep with this uh, anti-material rifle? Maybe not. Well, I guess we have the car anyway. Um, unless there's some difficult terrain. Uh, the biters are going to have trouble against the car regardless. It's so easy to explore. This is so nice. Especially not having to hold the button down for every little tiny bit of progress. It's going to take a little while at this rate. I can kind of focus this or that target. Maybe I should do turret creep. I probably should. We're going to go through a lot more ammo this way. Let's try out the rifle. How much range do we have? Oh, wow. Okay, that's a medium biter, though. Get out of here. Give me some cover. Wait, did I just one-shot a worm? I'm hitting the little ones. Uh, it's like two or three shots to kill these worms. It's crazy. It's like, what, five shots? Seven shots per mag. What's dying this thing? This is pretty efficient. Not so efficient when we waste a shot on one of those tiny biters. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Alright, that's a lot stronger than just one car. The rifle is very efficient at killing spawners too. Yeah, it is. And that was without doing the next tier of rifle mag. We only need steel to upgrade this. Anti-material rifle... Oh wait, that's regular rifle. Never mind.
So we've got, what, 72 shots? Or like, 79 plus 2. Yakitoli, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Using turrets to kill bases is basically an ammo waste. I mean, not really. Because the, there's a factor where the longer they're spawning enemies for, the more you're wasting to kill it. Unless you have lasers or something. I can't run this over. Where are the rest of them coming from? Let's keep expanding our vision here. And... Light the turrets about here. Anti-material rifle. the worms. It doesn't take that many shots to kill the spawners with this. I just don't have that much on me. this one. I didn't put a whole lot of resources into the ammo that I'm carrying for the rifle though. get a lot of shots from one mag? Yeah, seven. Or oh, for rifle, that's um, 30 per rifle magazine. Ragathian, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nom nom nom. Need that. Give it all to me, please. Thank you. Has our research stalled? Possibly. Probably green. Actually, I don't know. I did put a lot of green data cards in. Alright, we're well and truly not finding a bottleneck here that we can use. Probably never, judging by the shape of these biomes. Oh. This isn't too bad. It's nice and straight in a cardinal direction as well. Um, that helps with the way the Factorio blocks are. I would first try to use peace and love on those bugs, but it wouldn't help, so I would resort to a more radical solution. I mean, they shot first, so what can you do? Yeah, so we're going to build a wall here. Uh, maybe up there, hopefully we can find something a bit narrower than this. Oops. This spot here isn't too bad though. like what two screens long kind of uh, 
Oh, that's a little pond. So we're gonna want... I think it's not gonna get much better than building a wall up this way. It's not that long, and it's nice and straight. Let's go get some more anti-material rifle before we fight again. And I want to go clear the biters uh, a bit further out to the north. And maybe even up around here if we can. I asked that before, does snow tile absorb any pollution? Uh, I don't know. Good question. I think I remember seeing stats somewhere once where, like, desert tiles, for example, absorb a lot less po uh, pollution than grass tiles. So I would imagine it's a small amount, but pretty negligible. No, you don't. Let's park the car a little bit further in as well. Now, I'm mostly stopping here for coal so that we can make AM rifle ammo. Don't really have enough armor piercing. We don't really need armor piercing ammo just yet. Uh, shift C. Shift C. And all the anti-material rifle ammo, please. Uh, we don't really need slowdown capsules at this point, I don't think. We've got heavy armor. Let's head out again. Didn't really look where I was walking, so... I have to walk around this pond again. Jamot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All tiles in vanilla absorb a small amount of pollution. Water is the worst. Desert a close second. By his cloud, snow seems bad too. Yeah, probably. Alright, let's head out to the north slash northeast. Prototype file in the mod. Okay. Ah, uh, this is so much better than walking. I think I already looked up there. There's nowhere to go. is not crossable, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. I mean, this is outside of our pollution cloud, but still. I think I'm, I think going down uh, west-southwest is going to be the way to get up here quicker, probably. Uh, ammo in here, please. And then... Maybe not that much. Rifle. What is that? A rock? It's a rock. That's a nice quick autosave. Too many rocks. Not a fan. Oh my god, the rocks. Oh my goodness. Strategically placed rocks just everywhere. That's all the spawners. Don't really even need to kill the rest, but let's do it anyway. Uh, 
Um, the worms are going to hit the rocks as well. But so are all of my bullets. Something that goes over the rocks would be very helpful. Close enough. Ouch. Oh, they can't hit this, can they? Uh... There we go. Oh, I just used a rifle at point blank. Whoops. I was gonna say I didn't think I had a shotgun. Nom nom nom. Delicious. Delicious Zerg feet. And... Uh, our car is defended, right? Yes. Daka. It's a little slow, but it probably is more efficient if I just do this with the rifle. bit of spread on it. Okay. Grab some ammo. Remove the creep. Parts and go. significantly outside of the pollution cloud in this direction. What is happening with our circuits? We can actually see because... well, not circuits, but... Oh, it is... Yeah, we've got a lot of green data cards here, but no fuel for these things. And we've got a lot of green data cards here, but they're not being put in the labs. So we'll give that a little refresh and we should have quite a lot of science at this point. Can you check pollution screen for a second? There it is. Getting a little bit out of hand. Did I get all the turrets? Pretty much. Away we go. Uh, and we're not just clearing the biters, we're looking for places to build walls.
going a bit too fast here. One more worm. Shortcut P, not that one. Uh, pollution. It be trending upwards, that's for sure. Uh, 207. I guess that's not the total for everything. What is, what is, what is the unit of pollution? I guess it's just pollution. Alright, I should probably heal up. That might be a good idea. I need to make some more med kits, but I don't really have materials on me. Just noticed that too. That's really harsh. The trend up was consumption. Hi, by the way. George, uh, George Bells. Jaws Balzla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, here is some water. Whoops, I didn't realize that was a tree. I'm just having flashbacks to how the, uh, how the AAI cars could get stuck on the water as well. Rip tree. Alright, that's pretty much all we need, turret-wise. Until we get the worms. And then we walk right in like we own the place. Because we do. Fantastic. Um, I guess, I guess we can do a wall across here. I don't love it, but we could do worse. Inventory is Oh, it's because of the biomatter. Didn't even take that into account. Where's the car? And biomatter go burr. Yeah, I think a line across there is the best we can do. We don't have cliff explosives yet either. Down here might be a different story. That is, of course, a very convenient little choke point. I just want to see up here real quick. That is pretty manageable.
Okay. Fishies. Can I make some med packs now? No. I need iron plate. I didn't realize I was carrying zero iron plate. Intuitive driving in this game. Okay. Couple of turrets. Couple of rifle shots. I'm surprised we got a sniper rifle so early in the game. I should change the, uh, what is it called? The delay on even distribution. When I'm doing this. 0 0.9 seconds, that's ages. 0. 3 seconds. So, why can't I do a decimal? Uh, okay, there we go. Whoops. Alt C, not C. And repair. Still got practically a million, uh, Rifle ammo, or sniper rifle ammo. I think it reset to 0.3 when you left the menu. Uh, I, I was putting it on 0.3. Yeah, that's what I want. When I'm using the turrets, I want it to be very responsive. Almost too fast. Okay, I heard zero. Uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't be able to use it if it was zero. Zero point nine for some reason. It was on, um, I think it was on point nine by default. Or was it point seven? Something higher than expected. Oh, those abiders. Let's greet them in the manner of our people. Now this is a bottleneck. That is more like it. I might just build that one out here uh, while I'm here already. Obviously it won't have a delivery system for the ammo just yet, but I think the number of biters coming through here is not going to be that high. We have 19 turrets on our person. I don't need to clear anything else out while I'm out here. Um, we should def we'll definitely be able to have full coverage. The only question is what this is going to look like. Let's go pick this up. It's confusing me. Three pillboxes should take care of this entrance. Yeah, I've got enough wall on me to make a proper wall. The only question is just how far apart I want the turrets. Alright, so let's say we put our wall here. That's actually a pretty good fit. And 
if they just barely cover each other. Nope. If they just barely cover each other. Then that leaves room uh, to fill them out completely later on. But I think I want a little bit more than that as well. Okay, so that's what? 11 turrets? That's perfect. Let's do some walls. Yes, I already am about to change even distro back. Quite easy to do though. Go on, twig. Oh, I should probably get rid of all the rocks on this side as well, since they'll actually block the turrets from hitting their targets and waste a bunch of ammo. the wrong way, um, but that'll sort itself out. Once the biters come, they'll turn around and then they'll be facing the right way after that. As long as I keep mousing over these, it'll reset the timer on even distribution. There we go. So they each get 43 rounds. Um... That'll last a little while. Yeah, it's very clear that the biters are attacking from outside of the pollution cloud, unless there's something right here, which I seriously doubt. I should definitely put a sentinel here, but I don't have one, and I can't handcraft it. So we'll have to come back. Also... have a little entrance here. Get rid of these rocks. We can see the turret range more clearly if we zoom in from the map. Searching again. Get some more turrets and stuff. And we'll figure out where we're going next. Is that uranium? already. How's our fuel? Lots of it. Uh, don't even need to pick up walls at this point. May as well put those in the car, actually. And we need some iron. That's almost too much iron, as if that's possible. Let's get this started, get some more coal.
redistribute data cards. Oops. Don't quite need that many circuits. And basic tech cards. I keep calling them data cards, but you get the idea. Didn't you research electric labs already? Uh, nope. I queued it. I queued it up, but it got stuck because of the mess that we've got here. All right, so let's grab ourselves some more turrets and some more ammo. I don't really think. Okay, this is going to be my personal ammo. Don't really think we need more than that. For the moment. 12 physical, 8 physical. The pistol does bonus damage, right? Plus 50%. So that's actually like 30 something. Whatever. You know the seven P.S. proper, the seven P's proper planning and preparation prevents piss poor performance. Uh, indeed. All right. Uh, we got ammo. We got walls. We got. I was gonna get med packs. I can only make first aid kits still. This will have to do. And not take too much ammo with us. Um, let's get that wall built. And then I'll explore up this way if I've still got enough of enough stuff on me. Oh, I was gonna get sentinel. Uh, sentinels and some wind turbines to support them. I've got the wind turbines, or a few anyway. Uh, what do we need? More iron? Where did all my iron go already? Let's see, sentinel... Have I not researched it? I have not researched it. What was the last thing? Electric lab. And rail. Okay. In K2, you can specify which side of the belt the translator will put things on. Do you mean the inserters? And yes, I know. Thank you. Zippons. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that's a lot of iron plate, actually. Oh, I think it got automatically put back in here when I shift C or something. All right, so Sentinel is researching, not as fast as I would like. Uh, we got red belts, we got combinators. Fantastic. Um, I want some more repair packs, that's a definite. We need stone for that. Give me the stone. And maybe a few more med packs since they're so weak. Grab the ammo before we go. This doesn't have any steel. No wonder it hasn't been making ammo. And probably don't need that many steer gear gear wheels. In fact, why don't I go ahead and limit these? Or I already did, but there we go. Completely limit them. Um, Alright, so we're not heading back here to make the sentinels for a little while. Let's go ahead and build our southern wall. Oh, 
It is a bit of a drive to get there, but... I mean, who can resist gaining this much space for so relatively small an amount of wall? Kind of hard to hit. How long are you going to burn for? Oh, now you stop. Okay, I see how it is. Yeah, they're very definitely coming at us from way beyond the pollution cloud. Rampant's not going to give us a break. Alright, we're getting close to where we want to build this. Maybe about here. Um, I can't... I can't do what I did here, where I could see the whole thing and plan it out. If I had a sentinel on me, I could. Or maybe if I just drive across here fast enough, and then do the planning fast enough, the way the vision lags behind us, I can figure it out. Walls... see, map view. No, way too slow. Let's just do it here. Take advantage of this. can't see... Oh, I know what distance I used there, even though I don't have a blueprint for it. It was like this. So they're just barely covering each other, but also we can fit an exact number of turrets between them. And then twice as much as that. Perfect. Let's start here. to remove those rocks again. This is a lot of turrets actually for our current scale of production. Maybe it would have been better to just defend at the very last line. Can I pick it all that up there? Yes, I can. Close enough. Alright. Wall, go to burn. They're not getting attacked, are they? Oh, we finished crafting something. Fantastic. Sentinel is at 87%. I may actually be able to handcraft one before we leave. 88%. Is that the whole wall? Yes, it is. Uh, what about the rocks? There's actually not that many to deal with. I 
I'm missing satellite view so much. Yeah, me too. I keep, uh, I mean, not today so much, but I kept trying to go to satellite view out of habit. Always pressing N by habit. Yeah, exactly. my inventory is a bit full right now. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and this one. You still have that in 0.6, don't you? It just comes later? Yeah. I mean, you don't start with it in regular space exploration. Or oh, 0.5, either. Either of those things. How did I get stone tablets? Oh, I must have had to handcraft something that has them as a prerequisite, and it makes like four at a time, but it didn't use a multiple of that. Alright, I don't have that much ammo on me, actually. Oh, some of it is in some of these turrets. So that'll get redistributed because of the even distribution settings that I'm using. As long as I don't mess up uh, on this long walk, having to keep the redistribution timer reset. Just a few more to go, and got it. 27 each, that's not that much. I mean, considering how close they together they are, it actually kind of is. But yeah, we didn't even have extra ammo here as well. Alright, so that one's sealed, that one's sealed. This one will probably be next. I don't have... A whole lot of ammo to play with if I go up here. But judging by the directions the biters have been coming from, I really don't think it's just that there's still some nests in the pollution cloud. Considering what that took, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, something like 25 turrets, uh, and multiply that out by some number of ammo, it's actually, yeah, it's going to take like 30 to 40 to make a line up here, and then about the same to go across here, and then barely any to cover this. So we're looking at maybe 100, 120 turrets, and a whole lot of ammo. Before we can start building our base without so many distractions. Wait, no. You can keep those. Stop making steel gear. Grab some more copper. Distribute all of this. Grab these. as well. 
Uh, I believe we have electric labs now. No, we don't. Radar... Radar can wait. Radar can definitely wait. Alright, so we have some sentinels now. Glass, and not a whole lot else. They're actually pretty cheap. I need a few more of them than I realize, though. Let's see. Iron gear, single cylinder engine, iron beam. Uh, why don't I make a better iron automation area? We're approaching trains, yep. We are accelerating. Grab our one blueprint that's new for this save. Only because there's lit power poles now. Um, I do want to lay this out. I do want to lay this out for when I cover the entire mine. So, I mean, that looks fine. Balls. And I want to use this coal up here for the moment. How much is it? 58,000. Oh, we can stop making these for the moment. Have you settled on any particular rail network design? Maybe. Um, I designed one that's uh, kind of like, mostly kind of like the last one, but a bit smaller. Um, but I stretched it out a little bit so that you could have eight trains parked around the edge um, without them blocking each other. But can I not hit you, really? Okay. And power pole. Still haven't made those. Oh, I see. Let's deprioritize these ones. And lay out some smelter rows. How fast is this? How much does it take for one belt? Twelve, exactly. Cool. It's actually quite small. Um, wait, wait, wait. Is it one belt of iron ore or one belt of iron plate? I mean, I guess we got to go with whichever one hits 15 first. That's a little bit annoying. 20 becomes 15. So if we want a full belt, we need to supply more than a full belt. Uh, well... I guess we'll be doing these in sets of 12 regardless. Unless I want to do a full belt of iron ore and then long arm inserters for the coal. I like it. Brutal. Wait, what? How do you feel about 60 UPS? It's It feels nice. Yeah, it's definitely an improvement. Um, we're still handcrafting those. Alright. 
If we do go for a full belt of input iron on either side and long arms for the coal, then we can just go for 15 per second iron plate, which is 16 of these. Which means the full belt is sort of a little bit overkill, but not really. Um, where are the power poles going to go? We, do we have medium poles? We're still researching medium poles. Because the small poles won't reach across. And if we use this input, there's going to be no room. Uh, otherwise... Can we put plastic on the back burner? How much is this? 75. Uh, do we already have that? We don't have to intervene. We've got at least 2 times 16. 32. And then we're going to slow down here. Hole between burners? Uh, I guess we could, yeah. I didn't even think of that. It's not a, it, it, it's, it's a lot shorter of a line of smelters that I'm used to. Yeah, that actually works perfectly. Good call. And then we don't have to spend medium poles on it. Okay. Um, I don't think we can save a tile, nor do we have any desire to have space in here by doing, like, squiggly belts. Because the, the machine has to be three tiles wide for that to work. So we'll just do it like this. And... Like so. So that'll give us one belt of iron plate. What kind of throughput can we get here? How much do we need? Let's see. 16 of these is 20 iron... Yeah, yeah, 20 is more than one belt, because it's yellow belts. Uh, 20 iron ore per second. This gives us not very much. We would need 48. If we saturate this entire th thing... Uh, overly optimistic because some of these are going to run out immediately. We're looking at 139, actually. So let's be a bit more pessimistic and call that 100 at most. Uh, we could definitely do two belts of iron plate coming from here. And I'm sure the coal will be able to support that as well. So much effort on early smelting, I just ignored the belt ratios and did a vanilla setup. I guess. Uh, and then... What the... Oh, I don't have any belts either. I should probably carry some... See Ficker, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. And how is this? Why is Esso not working? Uh, hold on. I saw my bot wasn't working at all earlier. It's switched off. Why is it switch off? Switched off. Uh, S.O. Burgers and Fries, S.O. Seafer Cat. 
There we go. And now the mods command should work as well. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Letty me to first row. Uh, what? Coming through, coming through. Okay. Mods still not working. Commands. Mods. Oh, I changed it to Factorio mods, but I thought I had an alias. The alias is gone. Mods. Add alias. Confirm. Is that why? Alright, now it works. It's crowded today? Yeah. The biters destroyed your name? The, does, the biters destroyed a lot more than Veldak's name. Um, for some reason, the small stone text plates were catnip for the biters. So I need to go and restore about half of our names later on. One job. How am I supposed to predict that the biters will, like, ignore the coal plant, ignore the coal mine, and then go straight through here, ignore the machines, and attack the names of all things? Honestly. That's just... No. No reasonable person would ever think that. Um... Alright, let's... It's not four belts, but let's pretend we're going to get four belts of iron coming in here. It was targeted assault and the rest was collateral, so everyone thinks it was about me. You're one of the few names that, like, I could easily restore, because it was like... L-D-A-K was left, and I knew you were the one at the bottom. I guess that's a Zavoxifol. We can fix that. Is Zavoxifol in here? I can't seem to tab their name in. Not today. Silent Storm, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's scratched? Yeah, it is. It was a lot more than scratched. Biters love the smell of... <laughs> what? People have to repay, of course. No, I will, re I will restore them. Just not on stream time. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna go through this belt real fast, aren't I? Let's just do one side of these first. And our coal is gonna come down this way. Um... Oh, yeah, we don't have to, like, do any shared belt stuff. Coal is gonna be really straightforward. We just have to have room for this to go through. Okay. That's so easy. Uh, that's two belts, yep. Okay. That will do for now. I'm gonna need a whole lot more belt. Vandalism? Yes, it was. Klishu? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need some more long arms also. I need more everything. How do I even redeem that? Name in base? I have to type. Yes. Uh... Let me just grab this blueprint right here. Should probably just lay out the whole thing, even though we're not going to do it all at once. And that way I can put the power poles in place as I go. Put my ma name at the. <laughs> Put my name at the bottom. I don't want to be eaten. Okay. I would have to move the. It begins. 
I suppose I could put it down here. Matt Trim? Nineteen five two. Okay. There we go. Fantastic. Oh wait, I almost forgot the stuff I came for. And we have medium poles. It takes two lamps to make a lit medium pole. Oh no. I wonder if they use like ten kilowatts as opposed to five. Uh, medium power pole. Oh, it's daytime. I'll check later. Jaws Belzla. Name in base. Jaws Belzla. There we go. How's our science? Uh, it's coming along. Let's redistribute this stuff. And I should really put this in a box as well. Fantastic. Alright, even distribution, do your thing. Oops, that's fine. And the greens. And the not reds, the basics. Fantastic. Uh, what did I come back here for, though? Belts. Well, this is why we're building the iron, so we can automate this stuff at a much better pace. Let's go grab some iron. And... ship C. boop doop Fantastic. That's a lot of iron plate. Let's make some... Oh, let's make these electric as well. That's going to take a second. They've got coal. I'm not too worried about it. Um, how much power do we have spare? Quite a lot, actually. And we've got tons of room to expand this still. How much coal would this consume at max rate? Only 3.18 per second. Uh, well, this is not enough drills for that. But I'm sure when it comes to that, we can give it a hand. Where's the car? Let's take the car this time. And I might go grab some wood as well. Oh, it's all the way over there. Can I put this type of fuel in here? I can. Interesting. Alright, my inventory is well and truly exploding at this point. Oh, 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 free mining drills. Yes, please. Any more? Yes, actually. Just what I was about to handcraft. Okay. I am really liking the lit power poles. Even though with snow, the night time isn't so bad. Oh, and now's our chance to see medium pole, would you sit still? 5.5 kilowatts. 
It barely uses more power than the small ones. Uh, in that case, maybe I should make a few more of these. And that's trains. Nice. Alright, let's stretch this up here. Just barely doesn't reach. Oh. Uh, this can go here. Fantastic. Boopy doop. For more poles here. Lamps. Copper, probably. Copper or glass. It's copper. What are we researching? Bulk rail loaders? I'm looking forward to those, but we won't be needing them for just a minute. Automation 2. I mean... Oh, these can use fluids, so yeah. Modules... What's that? Silicon processing. Filter inserter. Always a fan of that. Oh, automated rail transport, of course. And... How much is LTN? 300? Yikes. Should probably get projectile damage. That'll save us some ammo. Probably should have done that sooner. I changed the bulk rail loader cargo size on my playthrough. Indeed. What did you change it to, and why? Uranium damage is a bit annoying. Remove a media boom, get killed slowly. Lol. Build a chest and put it in there. Grab the oil burner. Wait, what? Grab the oil burner. What was I about to do? I need things for power tools. And really, it's mostly because I insist on putting lamps on them. Oh, that's a lot of copper. Fantastic. Four wagon stacks can fit in it. Oh, as in four train load falls? Great early game power. Oil burner research. Uh, we'll think about it. Okay, uh, we've got iron. We've got belts. Um, I think we will want a balancer. Is a lane balancer overkill? Probably. This thing's going to be symmetrical and... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, this thing's going to be symmetrical and take from both sides of the belt if it's fully built, so I'm not too worried about that. In fact, we can just leave room for the balancer here later. Oh, right. That's kind of why I was doing this. Put the 
this right about here. And here. Need a few splitters. Need some undergrounds. Need some belts because I just queued up splitters and undergrounds. Do you know how the space elevator works? Will it just connect the two train networks? Uh, yes and no. LTN trains won't be able to use the space elevator. So I'll have to come up with something a little bit like transferring resources between planets that we had before. I think what you unload at the planet surface just shows up at orbit. No, I actually peeked ahead a little bit um, and just built the space elevator in sandbox. Uh, the trains... there's basically a train track in and a train track out on both ends. Um, and a train actually drives through the space elevator. Uh, and I don't think there's any way to tr automatically transport resources uh, through the space elevator other than by train. Sounds like a train tunnel to me. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a train tunnel that if you physically yourself go there, you can click on it and just transport yourself instantly between the surfaces. Um, and what are we waiting on here? Too many splitters. This is six. I have six. Okay. Uh, and I don't actually need six right now. Give to me more belts, please. Could just have vanilla trains do bulk transfer and LTN do things between belts. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Although it is a little, like, it's not more complicated than it sounds. Well, maybe it is. What I'm trying to say is that is more complicated than you might expect. But not too bad. So a train passes through, does that mean you need to use a space train? on the surface as well. I think space trains uh, are just like fancier trains and you can probably use the regular trains in space anyway. Uh, what's that actually called? Space locomotive. Yeah, they've got better speed and cargo, and they run on some kind of battery that you have to re-replace. Uh, but other than that, they're just trains, I think. Don't have a belt build? What do you mean? Space trains are faster and have different fuel, yes. Okay. Oh, you mean, like, have I not automated belts yet? That's kind of why we're building this right now. Um, we've built... We've cleared some biters up to a point, and we're working on some... some walls here, 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 and here. Uh, and then we can actually build nicer builds at our leisure. Since you're handcrafting, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a bunch of spaghetti here. This iron patch is really awkward because of the cold as well. Uh, I think this up here is the only other iron patch we've got in range. Especially in walking distance from the start location. Alright, medium pole. Over... I should really put a turret down. Where's my ammo? Uh, 
You know what? You can have some piercing rounds. Merry Christmas. Okay. Uh, do we not have... We just need to connect these. needed to sneeze, but I thought it wasn't going to happen. That was great. Okay. Um, let's get some more drills. And just a couple more will cover the entire thing, actually. In fact, if I just move these over... I don't like how hard it is to see where the resources end sometimes, since they made the the look of the ore on the ground a little bit fancier. Don't need that one. That should be enough to support this for a while, anyway. How much longer are we crafting this for? We just got done making a few more inserters. How's our wood? Uh, our wood is... pretty good. Can't click on this like we do with Navsat. Circuits are doing very well. Green science is doing very well. Red science uh, is doing okay, but I haven't... There's only 35 here, actually. Uh, we seem to be missing iron. Let's get that going again. Although, I'm not that fussed about research right this minute. Yeah, I'm really not worried about research at the moment. It's all just expansion, getting the defenses done so that we can start building a proper base. Um, one more turret. Where's our car? Down here. Okay. Uh, furnaces go here, and some of them are missing recipes. There we go. Fantastic. Won't even worry about that for the moment. Just get these done. And it's probably getting close to time for a break, actually. Once I get this row done so I don't have to think about it. Furnaces won't fill up since they have recipes now. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, in that case... We're gonna need some more inserters. They take so long to handcraft in Crustorio 2. Didn't I have a bunch of pre-made inserter parts? Let's 
just go grab some. There we go. Cancel all that. That is less bad. Um, let's grab some cogs as well. And we've got plenty of iron plate. There's still a lot of steps to handcraft these. Good grief. Really got to make a temp build for that. Yeah. Well, we're getting to it now. Well, not quite now. Uh, let's see. One, two, one, two. We need four reds. We've got them. And then we need 16 yellows. And we should definitely be putting some turrets down to protect that. Do I have ammo in here? A uh, little bit. I don't want to take from that stack. Personal ammo, this ammo. Still got a million anti material rifle shots. And let's head back up here. Got 10 turrets, that's not enough. Not, not enough to start thinking about building another one of these walls, that is. Is when we will take a little break. Let's do some words on stream. And I'll just double check we've got that set up properly. Yep, seems good. All right, in about 30 seconds, we're going to be doing some more words on stream. We're up to level 10. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
Okay, one more. Nicely done. Oh, slang was over there already. Dark. All right. Good job. Level 14. We'll have to finish that one off before the stream ends. All right. Let's continue with some space exploration. And... Uh, now we have a, well, not a decent flow of iron, because we haven't made that many smel uh, miners yet. Sicko Manball, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, compared to what we had before, that's actually a really good flow of iron. Um, let's get some machines here. Uh, we don't need any copper to make gun turrets, I believe. Single cylinder, iron beam, and iron gear wheel. Yeah. So let's get this thing spamming out some gun turrets. And... I need a loader here. Actually, I think I'll move this over a tile as well. Um, so let's see. Gears, beams, and also single cylinder engines, which also requires gears. And iron plate. Beam is just iron plate as well. Let's put this here. Do I still not have... Oh. I do wish there was a way to just bump one thing to the front of the queue. So that's going to be this way, and this way, this way, underground belt. Does this require iron plate? Not even a little bit. Got another turret here. Oh, we need some ammo as well. Ammo is requires copper. Hmm. And coal, for that matter. We'll just put a box here for copper. For now. T. 
Did we miss anything? Uh, we need the gears to find their way in. So what about this? Medium pull. Uh, that wouldn't work either, because this has to go here. That wouldn't work either, because then it can't escape. Um, okay. Spaghetti. Long arm. Fantastic. One at a time, please. Beget the spaghetti, indeed. Auto spell correct is strong. Wait, what? Guessed on that glance, indeed. Alright, let's get some ammo as well. Um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to make sure this is always stuck. Copper plate. Rifle mag. We also need coal. And iron plate. A little bit more complicated than in vanilla. Alright, perfect. 28 gun turrets, is that gonna... This is 11. I think we need like 30, maybe 40 or 50 for this one. I counted earlier. Do we have better assembly machines? Not yet. No output box for the ammo? Good point. Much output ferry box. Okay. I guess since we're waiting, uh, I really need copper if we're going to mass produce inserters though. Friggin' small electric motors. This is fine for now. Glad I put those turrets there. I guess we could make a start on the wall with 32 turrets. Um, I do want to go and place... I never ended up building these. Need copper. Unsurprising. I do want to put the sentinels down here so I can see what's what. Give to me some copper. That's probably overkill. What's the stack size? 50. And we're going to need some wind turbines to support them. I should take some ammo while I'm at it. In fact, while I'm at it, I should... Uh-oh. Um, while I'm at it, I should set up some belts to supply ammo there. Yellow inserter draws 400 watts when it's not working. So it's going to be like... Uh, something like 5 kilowatts. 
So one quarter of a wind turbine that we have to account for. I'll be taking that. Grabbing more land isn't as effective both because of the snow biome and SE settings. Both have less pollution absorption. Oh yeah, no, it's more the bottlenecks that I'm looking for. That's why I'm grabbing this much land. Um, I really only need like probably this much space or like here for a decent starter base. Um, all right, that's probably enough sentinels for now. And what about ammo? We don't have that much. Uh, let's automate belts. They're actually really easy. In fact, we... Oops. Uh, it turns out we only need iron for red belts as well, if we ignore splitters. Alright, so it's just single cylinder engine plus iron plate plus beam here. Let's figure this out. Um, how many... I don't have any assembly machines. Uh, rip crafting queue again. Oh no. Oh no. Anyway, rip crafting queue again. And... Are we not done with this? Five seconds. Isn't it the tree production absorbs pollution? A little bit, yeah. Sicko men... Uh, bull. I do that, hit the only rock for miles while driving. Yeah, and I had, like, a screen up while I was doing it as well. So I didn't even see it. Uh, where's my assembly machine? I hate the... Mm, stupid fives. Okay. Um, we want... First of all, single cylinder engine. That requires gear and iron. We can borrow it from here, I think. This is always saturated, it looks like. Yeah, we're bottlenecking on the iron beam for the turrets. And then regular belt goes here. Uh, underground belt actually requires beam and regular belt. Uh, that's going to be fast enough overall. I don't mind that. Wait, is this... Oh, the medium poles are bigger than we're used to. I think. Yeah, look, they reach across... The vanilla medium poles don't reach across a 3x3 a three three machine, do they? Or am I going crazy? Well, that's a good reach anyway. What are some of the merits of having Crastorio in your SE playthrough? Uh, well, for one thing, it's different. Because I just finished Crest, uh, non Crest Oreo SE2. Um, there's also cool things like super duper robopods. And not just the superchargers, but this actually has homes for bots. And it has a lot of range, if I recall. There's also teleporters, that's pretty cool. 
Um, why don't we put this here, I suppose. Uh, I'll put it here. We need inserters again. Vanilla, vanilla mediums aren't that good. Yeah, they're frustratingly close to being good. That reach should be made the default. Yep. K2 adds control over drop size for inserters. Uh, drop size? Do you mean drop distance? You can make an explain like M5 for loading and requesting different goods for each section of the train. Oh, you mean like a tutorial? Uh, I tried making uh, like scripted tutorials before and I just haven't been happy with them. So what I might do is maybe put aside some streaming time each week to make tutorials and just kind of do it live. Uh, what do you guys think of that? Which is amazing for getting saturated belts. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, wait, are we talking about this or something else? That would work. Cool. Oh. Well, the turret is very accurate. At least. Uh, do we have ammo here? Yes, we do. Fantastic. How much belt do we need? Uh, a lot more than a hundred to cover this. But we can make a start anyway. We could probably make that a fast. And then we're bottlenecked on this. Which is not bottlenecked on the inserter. Right. They're all coming from the north, northeast, it looks like. Still got melted. Okay. So I'm going to make a little box for ammo down here, and we're going to have belts feeding the turrets. And I guess we could do... We could do coal and burner inserters, or we could just as easily have a little separate power network with some wind turbines. We're going to have sentinels anyway. So let's do that. Um, that's a little awkward. I can't plan out... Oh, I can, actually. I can plan out some rail. Can I have a short train deliver this stuff? So this box is probably going to be, like, here. And we'll just do a little splitty split. I guess that one is going to have to go over there. Oops. Alright, so how much belt do we need here? 78. We've got 66. That's actually really close. Probably shorter on inserters. And... power poles... over here.
Really like the K2 shooting mechanics? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the uh, Factorio shooting mechanics are shallow to say the least. Just instant hit scan. Not even hit scan, it's like just automatic hit, no matter what's between it. we need three of these since we need two to support the sentinel or oh, how many sentinels do we need actually i can actually see it one two three uh we need two sentinels that should be fine we can put this one up here and it'll be just as effective and then one over here. Fantastic. Uh, what was I doing? So yeah, one, two, three, four, five wind turbines. Four for the two sentinels and one for the what little power we need for the inserters. What do Sentinels do? They're like little baby radars. Um, they they reveal uh, the... What's the word I'm looking for? The chunk that they're in, and one chunk away in all directions. Uh, and they don't do scanning like radars do. Uh, they just reveal this constantly for 40 kilowatts. It's pretty good, actually, especially for now. I think the radar, I, I could be wrong, but if I recall, the radar from uh, K2 is a bit more thirsty than usual. Yeah, one megawatt. Um, but I think it also does more than the vanilla radar as well. There's also an advanced radar after that. It consumes two megawatts. I guess I can't make this reach without another pole. Cool. Let's put our ammo in here. Did I get a loader? No. I guess there's really no need for it. Fine. Uh, and that's definitely going to run out before it saturates the whole belt, actually. I could loop it back, but... Well, I could loop it back, actually. What do we got? Eight... Ap approximately eight times 110. Uh, so like a thousand... Rifle mag is what it would take to keep this belt full. But I would need a bunch of belt just to loop it back as well. This is fine for now. Do you have evolution disabled or something? I do not see any percentage on your UI. Uh, no, I just don't have it disabled. Uh, I just don't have it displayed all the time. How do I even check evolution? Is this it? Uh, 0.1016, time 11%, pollution 28, spawner kills 61%. So most of the evolution is because we've attacked them at this point. Evolution is not displayed by default. Yeah, I was going to say. Use only one side of the belt? Uh, that's a good idea, actually. That's a very good idea. Beep, beep, beep. Oops. I like how crashing into cliffs uh, doesn't do any damage. 
but a little twig does. Yeah, if we use an inserter, it's going to use one side of the belt. Request a chest research is big sad on SE. Uh, logistic system. Utility science pack and space science pack. Isn't utility science pack like the second space science pack that you get? That seems a bit harsh. Or crashing into water? Yeah, he just instantly stopped. Could also sideload the belt. Uh, is that... That's not working the way I imagined. What if we do this near? Does that actually split? It does! Nice! I like that a lot. That saves us a whole extra tile. Although, now that I look at it, uh, it's actually less belt if we do it this way. But still. Just move the splitter down one and save a belt. Uh, yeah. But yeah, what if I didn't want to do that? That's cool that we can do this with the inserter. Alright, let's head back, grab some more stuff, uh, maybe start building a wall up here. Actually, I should build these little walls here, we can definitely get that done. I don't even have to go back for that. Although, I don't have any ammo. So let's do that first. Belt base is a lot harder versus bot based, of course. Um, alright. 70 mags, it's not a whole lot. Do we have some down here? No, because there's no... There's a hundred, actually. Um, we don't have any automated supply of iron there. I've run out of copper here as well. Well, there's your problem. Actually, why don't I just put all of the copper that I'm carrying right now to ammo. That's a good amount of belt. That's a good amount of underground belt. We can always just handcraft the splitters. Uh, that's a decent number of gun turrets. We've also already got a good amount of wall, I think. Let's get started on our north wall. Actually, maybe I'll put some sentinels down so I can see exactly how I'm going to lay this out. I think here is good, actually. Just behind this bit of rock. Cliff. Gun turret go here. Uh oh. Uh. All right. So we confirmed that that little spot is impassable by the biters. That's good. Maximum distance. Approximately. Make sure this fits neatly. Um, that should be the same as down here, actually. Perfect. Why don't we just do this? In fact, why don't we go snap to grid relative and burr. 
Whoops. That that didn't do what I was expecting. Snap to grid relative. Was I just careless with the height? No, something's wrong here. Oh, there's an extra tile. Yeah, there we go. Alright, why don't we start from the left here? Oh, I've got this on the slot too already. Which one of these was correct? This one? that gun turret on the left. Copper for red circuit plus whatever the plastic thingy is. You have walls, stop splitters on combat rebalanced mod settings? Oh, walls, stop spitters. Uh, I don't know. Is that mod settings? Spitters. Uh, spitter, spit, blockade. Spitter, spit can be blocked by walls. Yes. It's on by default. Yeah, I don't remember changing it. We're going to waste a lot of bullets when a biter gets stuck behind them. Null Cascade and the Wassa. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, don't need to worry about the ones behind. What am I thinking? There we go. Alright. And I kind of wish I could bring my car to me with a remote, like a Spidertron. But, alas. Perfect. to go at least 11. Uh, we're gonna run out of ammo. I 
I see spiders. get working on the resupply system. Start on the left. Imagine we have a train. See if we can't line up the car. Do this nice and quick. We're drifting a little bit away, but not too bad. Oh, that's right. Because of the way click and drag works with belts now, we can actually pull that off pretty easily. How much more belt do I have? Lots. Oh. Nice and easy. Now we just need to place some sentinels. Uh, medium poles back out this far. Sentinel in this tile. And let's see. Well, I can't see right now, actually. Need two of these for each Sentinel. There's a direction snap mod for vehicles? Yeah, I know. I actually had it enabled last run, but it doesn't do anything for 99.9% .9 of a SE run, so no big deal. We need more medium poles. I need more lamps. I need more everything all of the time. Let's go back. What's the name of the mod where you can nudge buildings around? It is called Picker Dollies. That is Picker Dollies. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I don't really need much belt right now, but I'll let that fill up. Ammo is probably being produced faster than we need it, I'm pretty sure. And I'm glad to see so many gun turrets as well. Uh, let's go and get ourselves... What were we short on up here? Power poles. Um, so basically iron and copper. Uh, we've got plenty of iron. Let's grab that, and let's go get some more copper. Copper is so far away for a proper... Maybe I'll get some train systems going relatively early to bring the iron and copper somewhere else because imagine belting this all the way up here that's not that drastic but still you might want to look at the mod mouse over construction 
It places ghosts when you hover over them and have the items. Interesting. So it's like a, a cheat if you're a speedrunner. Um, don't need this right now. More copper, please. More power poles. More copper, please. More power poles. More copper, please. Or iron, please. Quasi cheating. Um, and we will need some more inserters as well. Okay. Do we need to help our research along? Uh, of course we do. There's no red over here, probably because it's out of iron. Betting that distance is not far. Belting that distance is not far. You're just being fooled by the tiny scale of everything so far. Uh-huh. I mean, it's a bit of a nuisance. It's probably not worth a train, though. Alright, I'm not going to bother with anything more for the science for the moment. It's like two smelter lengths? No, it's not. It's a bit bigger than that. Been away, have you walled off that massive chunk of territory? We're working on it. Uh, we've got walls here, here, and here. We're just walk uh, working on shoring them up right now. I'm about to belt feed some ammo for the one at the top. Uh, in the not-too-distant future, I'm going to get a short train to deliver ammo to all of these. Uh, we also need a whole lot of light, uh, medium power poles for this. Not to mention inserters. I probably queued up just a few too many medium poles, possibly, for the... oh. Um, you saw nothing. Uh, we need at least one extra just for the inserters. And then that chunk over there. needs another sentinel. Fantastic. Can I just select these? No, it's not going to be an exact chunk, is it? This chunk over here requires a sentinel. We've only got five poles. Is that the right distance? It doesn't look like it. What are we making? Inserters? No, medium poles. Oh, that almost lined up perfectly. All right, pick all this up. awkward while holding down F. And once again we need more poles. 
You want to alternate dequeuing and queuing them up at the end? Alternate queuing and dequeuing. I'm not following you. Uh, this is going to go here. So you don't overflow. Oh, right, yeah. Iron beams really slow things down. Oh. I guess the lighted medium poles take significantly more total crafting time. Well, 8 seconds to 12 seconds, it's like 50% longer. Oh yeah, I didn't really account for... I mean, one extra 20 kilowatts might account for the cost of the power poles at night. Maybe not. What are we up to? Oh, it just, it just went down. Uh, looks like it peaked at 69 kilowatts. Oh, huh, I guess so. So with this, we need like three or four or five extra wind turbines to support the lights. Yellow satisfaction is still plenty though? Yeah, probably. For our purposes. As long as the Sentinel actually works, I suppose it doesn't even matter. It's probably overkill giving it the power that it says that it needs. Perfect. Alright, so ammo goes in here. That can go back a tile. Oops. I don't care if we can't see that one. Or do I? I probably do, actually, because we're going to want to check on you know, how the resupply is going. So let's put this over here. Can we put it up here? For the look of it? Yeah. Probably should... Ah, it's fine. And hand whoa whoa whoa. And craft one more wind turbine. Got any assemblers? Could drop a few on the ground and make some intermediates. Uh I wouldn't really have the power to support it right now in this location. All right, last two. Ben, I forgot we need more inserters. Uh, go, 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 go. How many more do we need? All of them, I think. Uh oh. Carry a burner generator, and you'll always have power when you need it. Hmm. I suppose. So, oh, we can actually read it now. Uh, how many more do we need? Eighteen. 
but preferably before the ammo on the belt gets here. We've got four. Oh, this is already working. Even though it's well under power, we still get the vision. Well, that's good. Time for a sip. Actually, if power goes yellow, then the inserters are going to struggle to pick up ammo at night unless the belt is saturated, or the half belt rather. We just need five more. Berlin's Twitch. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Inserters move slow, but they don't need to be fast. Uh, but if they're slow enough, they'll struggle. Because the belts don't need power. Um, they always work at full speed. So if power is low enough, things will actually get past the inserters. And they shouldn't. Alright, cool. Back to the car. But the belt will be backed up at all times. That's the plan, but we're not there yet. If it isn't, there won't be anything to grab anyways. Well, there will be sometimes, like right now, for example. Alright, but that is that wall secure for the moment. Let's go do these two little small spots over here. Shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I was going to say we could probably stop this, but no, I would rather have some more inserters when I need them. Oh, I, would, I need to handcraft some... Uh, we need copper, actually. I can still put some turrets here. I have to assume the biters have no trouble getting through trees uh, because of the built-in squeak-through from space exploration. Tree x-ray... There we go. Look at that information that we just gained. So right about here... We need a few turrets. Uh, I don't really have any ammo to offer you right now. Hmm... Let's do a wall up this way. If I had the sat view, I could save these trees with piccadillies. But alas. Uh, but yeah, the biters, I think, have... They're not going to get slowed down by these trees at all, in the same way that I'm not getting slowed down by them. And we kind of need... So 
something down here as well. Copy paste this spacing. Wait, what? Good for now. Uh, yellow inserter, we've got 24. Fantastic. And some belts. Probably a splitter here. That is asteroid. Meteor, rather. Way out of our way right now. Alright, let's do underground belt like so. And can't actually put it there, can we? Let's just put this one here. Spiders do still path around trees, if even if they can walk through. Um, but they don't actually bump into them at all. Okay. Turret. is the right place to secure. And look how far outside of the pollution cloud we are. That's rampant for you. They bump into each other, that's true. Hey Mikey, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So many trees. Was a weird splashy thing. Okay. Belt. Saddles. Gun turret. I forgot the ghost would rotate it back around. a little to get started and I don't have what we need for some wind turbines right now trains poor good to see you again well welcome, welcome hope you're doing well managed to finish normal SE yes indeed Alright, so this one's covered, now there's just this tiny little gap over here. Where's our car? And of course I need to come back and set up some resupply. Congrats, thank you. 
Yeah, we actually did get it done with a less than 35 hull spaceship. A little bit happy with that. Surprisingly enough, the ship that I did design uh, went dropped under 3500 hull just by making some holes in it, basically. Alright, that is a bottleneck and a half. Let's put... Let's put some gun turrets about here. And... That's about all we need wall-wise, I think. Unless the spitters can snipe the walls. I'm not too worried. That looks weird. Like it shouldn't line up. But it does line up. But oh, wait, we're doubling up on these. Uh, how about this? It's fine. I do believe he didn't finish the math puzzle. There was no math to it. It was just a bunch of random symbols. That one is quicker to brute force with grief. Yeah, I would rather not. Just the process of dialing in an address was arduous. Okay. Uh, insert a... Can we actually fit, like, a station here? The biters might be able to reach the station if I do it like that. Cliffy Cliffs. Uh, I think we need some cliff explosives that we don't have yet. If I do this. However... Uh, that cargo... A cargo bag in here might work. Something like that. Okay. Let's go back and get some stuff. Each symbol was a number? No, it wasn't. There's a math solution, but not enough info to tell you to use one. Everyone who's done the calculations did it after figuring out the correct combination. Lovely. Wasn't someone saying the idea behind it was like, what if this alien society didn't have numbers or something? But those just are numbers. Also, it's not like you'd get that far without numbers. Alright. We got ammo. We got lots of turrets. Uh, already got plenty of belt, but I'll grab a little bit more. And we need power poles. Yeah, we do. And we need uh, wind turbines. In other words, we need copper. These aren't numbers, guys, I swear. This is just... This is a symbol that represents two units of anything. It's not a number, it's a... <laughs> Am I, like, am I playing telephone and misquoting the intent behind that, or was it really like that? They are coordinates, but claiming they don't have numbers is just trolling. Oh, no. Really like that. Oh, no. Here is a free mining drill. 
Um, I need lots and lots of... That's not some... That's not lots and lots of power poles. I need more iron again. We should still have a bunch of iron that we can collect from up here. That's not too bad. And then I need wind turbines. Why can I only get four? Because I don't have iron. Why don't I have iron? Who knows? Counting is math? I mean, yeah. It could have been a clever puzzle, but there's not enough clues to guide you to the solution. Yeah, I mean, of course I considered that I was just missing a clue somewhere, but... I, I was really just kind of... Uh, grasping at straws would be too generous. Like, I, I said before that by the end of it I was just throwing shit at the wall and seeing if anything would stick. I, I literally had no leads to make any kind of intelligent guess at what to do. Fuku Toss, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so yeah, let's head back up here. I should really put these drills that I just picked up down this way. I don't really need these ones. Um, I would like to turn this belt around. And just run it through here though. not about to run out, is it? Nope, not really. Always got to carry a stack of beans? That would be a good idea. Um, I don't think our iron supply is going to support adding it at this point, though. Um, you know what? We don't really need undergrounds and gun turrets to be accumulated that quick right now. So I'm just going to put some of these in the box. Okay. Ole. I think we're a ways off crafting this wind turbine still. Three X ray, go burn. Uh, fine, I'll kill a damn tree. Because of all these trees, I'll put our little train stop 
uh, like here. So the chest is probably going to be about here. everywhere. Alright, fine. You get cut down as well. Alright, 25 power points. And... Um, I really need to reschedule these. Looks like we're not going to overflow this time. So I think we probably just need the one sentinel. Oh yeah. Just one sentinel here is fine. And that'll mean... About three... Well, definitely at least three, but probably three wind turbines in the middle of the forest, because why not? Working as intended. When you lost eight or nine UPS on the electric network, uh, I don't think that's how it works. I don't think it was eight or nine UPS. In your last base, uh, do you think that was down to logic transmissions? I think a lot of it had to do with having a lot of spaceships. Uh, and a lot of it also had to do with... That might be what you're trying to say, where I had, like... Power poles with no uh, copper cables that I was just using to transport circuit signals or something like that. Um, but I think that means we've now got three separate electrical networks here, um, which is actually more UPS costly than it was all than if it was all connected. 108 kilowatts. Good grief. 33 kilowatts just from the lights. Uh... I mean, I don't particularly want to, I could put accumulators here at some point, whatever, it's fine. Okay. I use a mod where you craft something, it moves it first in queue, or last depending what you want and you can change it on the fly. That sounds excellent. That sounds like something that should be part of vanilla. Um, Alright, so we've got everything except the actual rail resupply for all of these. I don't think that last one has been done, actually. That just leaves these two, after all of that. Won't be too much trouble. It's a lot of steel, but we've got it lying around somewhere. Um, won't be too much trouble to set up a bit of train resupply. Uh, 400 is probably a bit overkill for this one. Let's 
save it for the other outposts. Anywhere close to having big poles? I don't think so. Would eliminate the need for wind turbines. How so? Oh, just dragging the power all the way out here. I mean, I kind of like that these networks are independent since they're for defense. Oh, we've actually almost got enough ammo here already. Cool. That's not going to run out for a minute. Let's head to the north wall. You forgot the sentinel? Oh, I did too. Thank you. going up here. Sentinel just has to be in this anywhere in this chunk actually. Oops. Finally, I think I'll dump the rest of this ammo in here since it's so long. And I think I get the feeling the biters are coming this way more often than here or here. So we should hopefully see this half belt saturated all the way to the end in a bit. I did say we'd do one more words on stream, since we're up to level 15. Kind of want to see how far you guys get with that. So we'll do that in just a minute. And I'll do a little save here, but I'm I think we're pretty safe to let this run for a minute as well. Alright. Words on stream. We're going to start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck and have fun.
just casually doubling the goal. Fantastic. Alright, let's continue with some space exploration. And it actually occurred to me... No, we haven't lost anything, right? No, okay. Uh, it actually occurred to me it should be fairly easy to fix the names. Probably. We're gonna grab a blueprint of this. Shove it into my blueprints. Jump back into our game. And I don't think anything's gonna overlap in such a way that it would be a problem. But if it does, we can fix it. Why is Veldax different? It's not. What? I mean, it is? Question mark? Small text plate. V E L. Curious now. What's the difference? Nothing? Apparently? Whatever. Okay. Blueprint. Go. Burr. Uh, let's repair these real quick. And we need what? 92. Seventy, eighty, ninety-two. I just don't want to have one more stack in my inventory taken up by like two small stone plates. Especially when they when they handcraft this quickly. All right, and can we just? No, it doesn't work like that. Oh no. I guess I have to type them again, or something. Uh, no name, give me a minute. So I think... Okay, if I individually Q-click, that works. But not if I drag it all. Well, that's a little bit of a nuisance. Mostly because I have to hit Q twice for each key as well. Uh, for each character. Otherwise I could do this significantly more quickly. Use the wildcard? Uh, wildcard. Wildcard. Place over ghosts. Oh, hell yes. Much better, thank you. There we go. Alright, name in base, Talem Grandmaster. Did I miss anyone else? No name? Alright. Uh, N-O-N-A-M-E. 1811. Talem Grandmaster. Uh, what is missing up here? Wait, what? Oh. Whose name had Sorrow on the end? Um, I can look it up. Let's see. Does someone know a mod to change the assembler recipe with wire logic? Yes, I'm using it. It is called... Uh, Crafting Combinator. 
thank you for the follow. Red Fan Ben. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Dashboard. Channel points. Uh, there it is. Request queue. Name in base. And it was ending with sorrow. Ohio sorrow. Fantastic. There is also a circuit assembler that does it. Interesting. Uh, all right. Let me just scroll up here before I lose track. No name. If it doesn't matter if we do the eighteen eleven. Oh. Uh, Talem Grandmaster. What? No. How do I need to do this, I guess? And ER. Uh, right, Fracco? And is that the last name redeemed for now? Captain True. Okay. E uh, I think Freco was next. Freco. Captain True. Uh, CPT T R E W. Yes, W actually. More names. Is my name on that list? Uh, I don't think so, Jamot. Let me just double check, I got the last few. Captain True. Uh, Freco. Talon Grandmaster. No name. Alright, I think we're good. And Uruk says hi. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do I have any of these? Uh, no, that's okay. Uruk says hi. Didn't I just... Okay, never mind. No! Try again. There we go. It's a little hard to see against the background of stone up here. Uh, maybe I should move it? Wild card. Fantastic. Guess I'll have to save for five more hours then. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we fixed that, and I don't have to go back and look at the start of the video or something. Nice. Uh, what are we going to do with five more minutes, I guess? Let's grab some data cards. We have how many? Only 75, actually. Oh, I picked up the green circuits instead. 220. Seems good. 
Um, why don't we replace these labs with electric ones? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pick up the existing burners. Which I know we're probably losing a little bit. No, it's like ammo, isn't it? This actually holds on to the um, status of the various data cards. Um, because Burner Lab is a prerequisite for Electric Lab, um, it's a bit easier if we do it this way. Can you use stone as a floor in K2? Would be a good contrast to the stone letter. You think stone brick behind the stone letter would look good? Uh, if we zoom in, it's not too bad. But if we zoom out, it's like almost invisible, kind of. He means normal stone like you can do in... Oh, okay. Also, how do I remove this again? I think it's... There we go. So just stone. That's not too bad. I don't know, what do you guys think? Especially at various degrees of zoom. Not the worst. It's definitely an improvement over stone text on top of that stone up there. Snow is better? Yeah, I think so as well. Not clear, I am H-O. Fair enough. Will it stop biters eating names? <laughs> nope. Names are catnip for biters. This is what we learned to... Uh-oh. 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 Do we have enough ammo up here? We just not have turret coverage. Uh, maybe I should actually use the SMG. Let's get a turret over here. And probably one here as well. Can I reach here with the ammo? Weirdly enough, yes. And... About here. Are those baby biters? <laughs> yeah, that's what you get at the start of the rampant mod. Weirdly enough. A mod that makes biters absolutely terrifying. Uh, eventually. Has them start out as... Cute little tiny bugs. Uh, Shazander and Nalkascape. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do SE space trains work with LTN? Uh, I shouldn't see why not. I don't think Crestorio's nuclear trains do, really. Um, but if they're just modded trains, like they're just different locomotives and cargo wagons and stuff, right? Uh, yeah, these are all electric labs now. Okay, cool. You know what? I don't think I care anymore about trying to go faster with the research until... Uh, until we build a bit bigger and more organized anyway. So let's just do this for now. And then we never have to... We could probably go ahead and get green cards coming in as well. Actually, it's about time to finish the stream. Alright, let's find someone to raid. 
And I guess I can overwrite this now. K2SE and so on. Alright, who is streaming Factorio? Preferably SE and or K2. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye. Evil plot. Take care. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, where's Factorio? There it is. Null Cascade. Thank you for the follow. We got Mucky, Sushi Cat. Oh, they're doing their multiplayer thing, probably. Take care, Whiskers. Asandanima. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good time. Uh, we got... SEK2. Let's give Andy Gaming a go. You have a power issue and buy. Oh no. Did it's probably because the biters broke. Yeah. Oh, and we're out of we're out of power. We're out of coal here. That's why. Okay. That inserter is struggling. Yeah, you don't see. Uh, poor Ao, Borstas, take care. All right, let's drop in on Andy Gaming. Give him a warm welcome. Well, she yeah. Okay. Four of those. 